sure what this thing. Let's check it out. Uh, David Kaiser, hey Wolf, how's things? Yeah, not too bad, cheers, dude. How are you doing? Uh, Victor, hey Lone Wolf, went to a car museum here in Brazil. I uh, don't know why, but there was mostly American cars. Yeah, true. Are they a pretty big industry? What sort of stuff was there? Uh, did you see it was uh, old classic American stuff? Sawyer Wells, uh, there's no sound. Can you guys hear me now? That sound okay. Uh, Bower Omega, yo man, how's it going dude? Good to have you join us, Rebel by Choice, morning, morning dude. Good to have you join us, uh, yeah, I'll just have a little look at this thing, Load Toad 84, hey Wolf. Uh, was that low faction tonight? I've got the uh, AGL loaf, it's <laughs> always going to be low faction. Uh, got a few different mods to try, sorry I just missed that, I see hey dude, I apologise, I missed the name. Uh, yeah, sound okay. Is that Eduardo, Recio, Pesca, N, Argentina? Is Pakistani truck man? I don't. I'm not even sure. I think I had a truck the other week. I think that was like a Brazilian truck though. David Kaiser, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, sorry, dude. Howdy, Mr. Lone Wolf. Awesome, brother. Warm day today, 30 degrees. Uh, it's, it's not been too bad here. Not as hot as that, thankfully. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the. I'm not complaining about it, but. I'll go on try and do this up in a sec, just seeing what it actually bumper up and down. It's like some just show truck sort of thing. Uh, it was 50s era cars, uh, I got to see the Marilyn Monroe's pink Cadillac, only two were made and one have a special pink. Yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. be a pretty rare beast, but it would be worth a lot of money by now if it's, uh, there's only one or two and it's the Marilyn Monroe car. What else is Use rear carrier. I probably won't be doing a hell of a lot with this. Nothing against that, I just. So I'm kind of checking out what it's doing. Fit a goddamn horse in there though. And then lock him in there and burn off. So that's good news. Uh, yeah, well, I'll go and see what this thing can uh, get done up. But mainly, I've got a. Got some horse, obviously. Uh, yeah, the Zix 605R Grendel and the Navstar 5000 Kronos. Kronos. Um, again, thanks to Mark Rowe. I think they're like um, is it Mr. Buses? I think it was. Yeah, but yeah, and then. Uh, Obviously this one as well, Z2, so it's the same dude who made uh, like the Parry Dakar, or I suppose it wasn't that, it was just the, yeah, the newest Tager, like the Dakar thing, which is a good mod worth getting. Uh, wait six months, that will read minus 30, <laughs> what's that where you are, or over here, the sooner the better. Probably not minus 30 to be fair, but uh, yeah, as soon as we get back to more like 15, 20 degrees, <laughs> that's how I like it. That's what she said, of course. David Duncan, uh, how's it going, Miss Wolf? Yeah, I'm good, cheers, dude. How are you doing? The Oklahoma Hellcat. Hello, everybody. How's it going, mate? David, hi again in Alberta, Canada. Uh, we had... Th is that 35 or, like, a minus? <laughs> oh, no, I think it's just, yeah, sorry, the little degree thing. 35, yeah, that's pretty toasty. A bit too toasty for me. Again, I still hear about this so-called dry heat that I've never really yeah we always get like at least 60 to more like 80 percent humidity when it's sort of that hot probably even higher humidity I've seen it on my phone saying it's 100 percent humidity I'm probably saying that's a little bit keen but yeah 60 to 80 I should imagine is what we sort of get David Kaiser had to put a new bumper on my truck pretty hard to do uh, that by yourself with a bad leg yeah true how is, is the uh, leg going yeah, especially putting a bumper on a truck. Mark Crow, hey Miss Wolf, how's it going dude? Good to have you join us, I've got a couple of these mods. Uh, yeah, cheers for giving us a heads up. It's about the only new stuff really, isn't there? There was a few, but by the time I was on sort of page two, I, I was back to stuff I'd already used last week. Um, oh yeah, I'll just 
quickly check this. Oh no, it's not. So it won't even let you. Oh no, where? <laughs> it's alright, it's me being a tit. I was going to say it won't even let you uh, customise it. Thought it might be like already pre done and it won't let you, but. Uh, again, I'll just have a quick quick little blast in it, but the other stuff I'll uh, I'll do that up and try and find a mission to do or something. Uh, I also saw the yellow wish car uh, that was in Karate Kid. The fact that it was in the film and then the museum is crazy. The yellow wish car from Karate Kid. I'd, I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'm pretty certain I'd recognise it as soon as I see it because I've definitely seen Karate Kid. Can't beat, can't beat one of the classics. Good old Mr. Miyagi. Uh, Kenneth Russ Wolf, Hopal as well. Hello everyone. Yeah, I'm uh, not too bad. Cheers, dude. Yourself? Oh yeah, just winch. Oh, so as assume yeah, it just works like fuel. Doesn't unless the suspension's stronger. It's not crunching the suspension down like the normal fuel tankers do. Well, that clearly weighs nothing, and it's just a box. So I'll put that on just to see how it handles the weight and all the rest of it. Uh, my leg is okay. Working on getting the motion back. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not surprised. It's probably not going to be the. Uh... Right on. Does that change that picture? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's probably not going to be the quickest process. Uh, Bronson, I'm just glad. Uh, that the mod map Raids of the Mountain Kings is working again. I'm not sure if I've tried that one. I, by the way, I uh, the Norway map. I clicked it again today. Came up with the same error, saying whatever it was last time. Something about like last kill. I assume it's last kill Norway or something. It must be called, but it says cannot do blah blah blah, and then has the word Norway at the end or something. But either way, it definitely uh, it's not letting me doing it. We'll do it. Quite nice, quite nice. Black on this game, the uh, the black's a bit like washed out. It's not, not like super duper black, but that's uh, pretty nice. Uh, right, let's go for a quick wrap flying around in this. Well, I'm yapping away. It's definitely not slow. Uh, it was the ice cream coloured car Mr. Miyagi gave to his student. I think I sort of can remember, but not, you know, I've, I haven't seen that film for bloody ages, so I think I've got a rough idea. Oh yeah, again this I was thinking just for the hell of it I may as well go and uh, do the cargo container contest so I'll get a trailer but obviously some genius put this trailer in the corner at uh, the trailer store so every time you drive up to it facing that way you can't fit a trailer in it took me a bit to realise this was uh, a live stream <laughs> No worries, it's all good. I wasn't really talking a lot uh, right at the start. Just while, well, like, there's. If I start saying in the first five seconds, like, what's going on, then yeah, most people haven't even got on here yet to hear it. Uh, Apologise, it's cut some of your name out. Is it Alexi? Apologise if I got that wrong. Hi, I just assume came here. Yeah, how's it going, dude? Come to join us. J Mac Dolphin is now Dolly Parton. <laughs> That's true. In fact, though, this is uh, John. I think. Hang on. Six four. Yeah, wee beast. We killed a wild, innocent loaf. All the goddamn professional looking after the trains. Wouldn't expect any less from him. Ah, Lexi. Uh, Nulzianen. Nelsianen? I'm sorry if I've got that wrong. I've probably just completely murdered your name. I apologise. Wave to say hi. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. T. Daniels, this truck looks like uh, it was drawn by Jojo. What's that? Man. Mangaka? It even has a hat. It, it reminds me, just say loosely, like some kind of a. Yeah, sort of Japanese anime esque stuff. It's a Z2 mod though, and he's got some bloody good mods, so... Um, obviously this one's like... It is what it is, it's, I assume it's not going to be trying to be... A super duper off-road rally beast, but... Um, yeah, he certainly puts like... 
Oh shit, that doesn't help. But oh, I have started. Let's <laughs> drop the hammer. Um, yeah. It should be, you know, does what it's trying to do and all the rest of it. We'll see. This is just messing around while I'm uh, kind of reading the comments a bit at the minute. JMac top heavy. Yeah, it's a little bit. You can see it wobbling around a bit. I'm not entirely sure if it's if he's got a sort of better, more robust suspension on it. I suppose really I should um, lift that thing up. I really haven't. Well, it's not like this thing's going to set a contest record anyway, so it's not the end of the world. But I have done this journey about 400 times testing tyres, so <laughs> it's one thing I can definitely do whilst reading the comments. Mark Rowe, I played three hours of the Norway map earlier. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. I didn't even look to see, funnily enough, I didn't look to see if it was doing that 999 megabyte thing. But before I even clicked on the Norway map, it must have been the Goliath that was probably the first vehicle I'd come across that you mentioned and I was downloading it. That said 999, but then when I clicked it, it didn't use that, obviously, and it, that was all fine. Those mods worked. Um, Justin Lynch, hello, Wolf. How's it going, dude? Thanks for you joining us. So, yeah, I'm not sure with Norway, to be honest with you. Again, like, I clicked it, tried it, it said failed, but it went. then when I went into my, uh, like, subscribe mods list, so I can turn all these mods on, it was in there, but obviously it's got, like, a red triangle next to it, so I have yet to uh, have successfully completely downloaded it and it's making me a little bit kind of wary of like going in blind on a live stream with it anyway it might be fine again I don't it's not trying to say to other people steer clear yeah this thing's definitely uh, pretty top heavy um yeah it's just for whatever reason am I sliding up the hill I am can we do a flip no nope. Oh, just thinking about it. Why do I keep moving up here? I'm not necessarily complaining because the further it gets away from that tree, the easier it'll be to sort of roll me over. I need his goddamn horse. He'd know. He'd know what to do. Should hit that tree and flip me around. There's the plan, that weird box on the front of it, it's kind of caught on the tree a bit, but again, it is what it is. Well, I've lost the container, but who needs them? For the first time, okay. <laughs> well, I can just keep winching up, but yeah, it's pretty safe to say this thing's uh, a bit of a top-heavy boat with this on. In fact, what I could do, since I've royally... Uh, this mission just ain't going to do anything anyway. Let's delete that, recover it. I'll put that other box on. And then I'll have one more go with the mission while I'm chatting away. J-Mac wobbly wobbly mod, yeah. We'll see if this one goes a little bit smoother. Uh, Rebel top heavy. So is my wife. <laughs> That's what I said. Daniels, this poor vehicle. Do you mean like the mods on it or just the way I <laughs> just randomly throw them around the countryside? Could go either way. Uh, Alexi, you uh, need about. Sorry, what's that? Uh, you need about 20 sub that you had one. Not entirely sure what you mean, dude. Uh, Justin Lynch, fuel tanks, uh, makes all vehicles top heavy, some can handle it, others not so much. Yeah, I think it's just, I was going to say, you could sort of tell when I clicked on it that the suspension squidged down and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, it's not, I'm not specifically against this mod, because it's just the fuel, yeah, and that's, it's like the background sort of know, programming or whatever that they've, uh, the devs have just kind of done. There probably is a way to go in and actually adjust it, because you think like that heavy wrecker has a very powerful crane, so, but they've specifically gone in and, say, changed those mechanics, whereas a lot of people, and I don't blame them, just, they might add a crane as an option to a vehicle, but they just put the sort of default snow runner crane on. Uh, get it out of reverse, it'd help a little bit, let's get a bit of daylight. 
Uh, Chris Dola, what's up, Mr. Lone Wolf? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Cheers, dude. Yourself? Uh, yeah, 1, 1 pm. Right. Normally I'd get a little run up, but it's not really going to make a hell of a lot of difference. This thing does pull off the uh, pull off the start pretty quick. Uh, check out the lightning on the truck. Or was that the lighting? Sorry. I'll have a look in a minute before I uh, so get a bit of turn in there, truck. Oh, you need about 20 subs and you've had 10,000 subs. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? I'll, uh, again, yeah, thanks to everyone who's helped me uh, get up to 10,000 subs. I certainly wasn't thinking I'd get anywhere near that. Plus, it, as I've said before, <laughs> part of me is just like, I don't think about it much because it's start panicking myself. Steve Neely, hey Wolfie, uh, you can lift the bumper up. I think, oh no, I did, but I assume when I recover it just goes back to uh, down here, yeah, cheers dude, and open the uh, cargo container and it has a crane. How does that? I didn't see a uh, crane last time. I'll, I'll just drive to the end of this mission and I'll, uh, I'll check out a few things, the lights and stuff. It's not very rapid, it's obviously got the advanced special gearbox but there was like fine tune, fine tune, special and advanced special. One of the fine tunes might be geared differently. I just don't like the way fine tune reacts. See, this was where I used to test the uh, AMK, hence why on my original playthrough there's cargo containers everywhere. You can see how it starts. Uh, if I made a mod for Snowrunner game, uh, I'd add voice uh, acting. Basically, imagine one of those goofy uh, walking simulator games where someone talks. Ooh. Look around going. Uh, what, just for, like, the person in the truck? Rebel, and then... <laughs> that's how it starts. We're only at the beginning of the stream. I'm already on it. It's just easy. Well, not easy. It just happens to be one of the things, trucks I was checking out tonight. While I'm reading the comments and they're scrolling a bit quick and all the rest of it, I might, uh... May as well just, yeah, mess around in the background. Something I can kind of autopilot while I'm chatting away a bit, which, to be fair ends up being uh, the majority of the live stream anyway. Yeah, this thing's definitely on the tippy side, regardless of the fuel obviously makes it worse because it's fuel, but just with this box and all the stuff on it and everything, it's a little bit on the tippy side. But again, not crazy. It would have just tipped back there, like as I was going around that corner, if it was bad for it. As far as this contest goes though, it's not rapid flat. I mean, again, it's not trying to be it's some crazy, mad Japanese, like... It reminds me of, you know, you'd, a truck you'd take to a show and it'd unfold and flashing lights, all sorts of stuff. So, I wouldn't really expect it to be a, uh, like a thoroughbred off-road in, a, like, that Dakar. I get it, funnily enough, same modder, like, he's made the, uh, the sort of thoroughbred race truck. You know this truck has a crane? No, that's, a uh, I didn't. I just opened the back thing earlier, and it. I didn't see a crane in there, but I'll check it out. Talks on the radio, but with driving. Yeah, true. Something like a radio station would be a pretty good idea on it. Obviously, when every now and then, when you get near some garages, they have like old sort of cliche country music playing. But you think like Grand Theft Auto Five, obviously bigger game, bigger budget, and all the rest of it. But uh, yeah, they've got a radio. Well various stations on there that worked out pretty nice. Well, I've got no cargo left because it, uh, it couldn't handle bringing it all the way. Uh, right, use rear crane. Open and close. Uh... I pressed up on the D-pad then, and it brought that menu up like I just pressed down. Use rear carrier. Uh, 
Wait, no, I can't. I can't see a crane unless I'm missing something. A mod's good in SnowRunner, and if so, what do you recommend? Uh, yeah, they're definitely good. Um, pretty much anything from. Well, there's lots of mods, but I'd say uh, Fox, like Fox 450 CRF Rider. Um, uh, what's it? JBE mods, uh, Bartelby mods, AGL mods. Um, Mr. Buses, Glitchworks have got some good mods. Again, that is, you may as well then pick which ones you like. In general, if they're pretty highly voted, that's like a good start because it just means they're pretty stable, they don't crash every five minutes and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, but beyond that, it sort of depends what kind of uh, mods you like, really. There's plenty of scouts, there's a lot of um, like 4x4 pickup truck sort of things that modders have done. Um... I like them, I've used them, tested them, I just, I don't use them loads for missions, uh, hence I don't have them on a whole lot, but yeah, then trucks, obviously there's like Bartelby's done a load, uh, yeah, Fox has done a load, AGL, Mr. Buses, uh, JBE, there's, there's a lot, to be honest, a lot of good mods, I'd have more mods if I could fit them all, but I kind of have to pick and choose. Uh, just because there's not, not enough room to put everything on. I'm not too sure with the, uh, the crane. The last thing I'm just going to check quickly is make it night time and see if anything happens with the light. And then I'm going to go and get another truck because this is... Uh, yeah, it's all good but it, there's not a whole lot I can do with this truck. Uh, crane mode. Ah, so it pops out of that bit. So then, when it said crane mode, I'll tell them. Let's just see if it can actually lift. Which that's cool though, at least that uh, box is there. So then, when I went down to shore, oh, did I click? Oh no, it just says crane mode there. Um, see what I mean? It's got some. Uh, <laughs> be good on the uh, pulling off on a drag race. Let's just see if it can lift this. It probably won't be able to. The heavy wreck is about the only thing. Right, so it definitely ain't lifting that. So it's not like heavy wrecker custom crane, but it's just get a goddamn horse. It was going to happen sooner or later. Is that BGM, yeah, is that to do with the, uh... Well, I don't... I, I think, yeah, when I press up on the D-pad... It's like, before I even go into... I don't know, now it's not... No, it's because the engine's off. Just go into the menu and it says press square. If I click BGM... No, it's just not doing anything. It's just jumping back up the menu to bump her up and down. But, yeah, I can just press square, but no. Cheers for that. It's pretty cool that at least it's well, that little box thing that uh, has got Snowrunner written on it. Yeah. Overall it's just like the other cranes in the game. Pretty goddamn weak. Like, nothing against it, it's just it's the cranes that ain't this mod. And as you can see, I mean the life's goddamn professional. He helps the truck balance. That's what he does in his nature, but yeah, it's a crane, there's not anything like particular about it. I'm just going to leave that there now. Um, well, got a goddamn horse. What's next? AGL uh, found he made a crane that throws. Uh, now I'm imagining an amphibious vehicle game where you move stuff around in one of those sunken city waterlogged towns with secrets. True, you could certainly, uh, well, get in the loaf. Scuba loaf. Send in scuba loaf and uh, you'll get the job done. Uh, I'm going to try this because I wanna, want something with a, a bit more rapid. What? 
haven't even got the high range. Sucks. Wonder why it's not got that, but I'm pretty certain this truck's got that normally. Uh, you got to deploy the wings for the crane. I don't even know if it. it I don't think it even made me do that in the end. But it did just kind of morph out the top. It didn't really. Uh, from the looks of it, I can open that back thing up, put the flap down, so it's sort of like. I could drive the loaf upon it, for example. Close that box back up. But yeah, the crane was in like the little compartment in the f just behind the cab, really. Uh, yeah, they look nice. That'll do. Always imagine with this sort of thing. You know, like when you crack the window open in a truck a bit. Obviously, this is left-hand drive, whereas over here we're <laughs> on the correct side of the road. Um, I'd put my hand out the window, and that fucking thing would try and hoover me into the engine. I could already see it from here that it would happen. Well, I'd have to put something on the end of it so it doesn't try to uh, inhale me, but I can just I could just tell that that would happen one day. See, like that fuel thing absolutely crunches the suspension down. Uh, I don't really need that, to be honest. I mean, this is definitely cool because it's uh, a Navistar. It's, it's got a frame extension on it. Um, yeah, I don't. It's not slow because it's. It's not, but I'd rather have a, uh, a high range. But nonetheless, just while I'm chatting away, we can always uh, test it out. Again, it's the Navistar is good anyway. So the fact that this has got like more tyres, more options, yeah, an extended frame. I'm not sure if that you have to have that with it or if I can go through and make it like a shorter frame and all the rest of it. It doesn't bother me either way. If I was if I was going for some serious off-roading, like when you're coming back out of a dip, that like the chassis might catch. But oh, the truck finally tipped. Still got a uh, crappy little horn on it, but again that's it is what it is. So I missed some of that. It's the outriggers, thank you. It's a smiley face. A more on the hard mode is uh, making me want to die. A more, yeah, bad enough on the uh, normal mode. Yeah, the gearbox is just too slow on this. We'll give it a go because again, it's uh, see what its off-roading capabilities is like. Feels like it'll be very talky and all the rest of it. I should imagine it ain't gonna have an issue getting a. Uh... See again with this contest though. So like, why do we just stick it away in the corner? Maybe it's so you have to reverse it like this. I don't know, but it doesn't make for very fluid gameplay. All right, drop the hammer, click accept, stick it in high, which would boost you along if it had a high range gearbox. Again though, torque wise, I should imagine going through this puddle it probably let's just get it in high for that. Yeah, it's not It's not really slowing it down or anything. Uh, sorry, morning and I've been up all night. Uh, it was a bobblehead radar unit, that thing is awesome. Beats lugging a radar about, yeah, true. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty good idea. I think a a couple of models have been trying stuff with those bobble heads, just all like those air freshener things as a the cheater item that you've got loads of repairs and stuff. Which yeah, it's good. That's one nice thing overall. It's like, I mean, they said they were gonna, so yeah, that's the product they were offering. But um, it's good that we have mods because yeah, there's a lot of stuff that modders will do that we benefit from. We don't have to wait for the devs to pick and choose it. Not a lot of stuff like it's getting through here. Well, again, I mean, this trailer flops around like a mad one. What I should have done, really, is just... Uh, in fact, sort of, I'm curious myself now. Detach trailer, delete trailer. I'm just going to put a sideboard on it. Saves even faffing around with the trailer. 
because, as you can see, the two slot it wants to tip more than the limit that'll just automatically auto unpack the uh, the trailer, and it's just the way it attaches to your truck. It just flops from side to side too much. There's no weight low down in the trailer, so it never resists trying to do it. It just yeah, it is what it is. You can put a flatbed on that. Yeah, that's what. Uh, we'll give it a go. Obviously, normally you can't, but he's extended the frame, so it's cool. Oh. <laughs> That'll be a house. This is the part where you uh, pretend you didn't just hit the building, drop the hammer. Like, what? My truck was damaged before I hit your house. I mean, before someone else hit your house. Why don't we see Lone Wolf show up in the top 100 on GT7? GT7, we Gran Turismo. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I was going to, there ain't a Grand Theft Auto 7 yet. One day there will be, though. <laughs> I remember, like, ages ago. I'm, like, I'm sure I heard it on summer as well, a year or two ago, where someone was joking and they were like, yeah, in the future when there's people will be playing on the PlayStation 4. <laughs> Hearing it now when we're, uh, we're on the PlayStation 4. I live in Finland and I'm finished, so here it's 5am and I've been up all night. Yeah, that's a bit of a long one. <laughs> what she said, of course. Uh, yeah, 5 a.m. What is it here? 3 a.m. So yeah, you're two hours ahead of me. Yeah, if this thing had a high gear, it'd be interesting. It's just... It's going to be fine taking this. I'll see. Like, tippy-wise, it doesn't feel particularly tippy or anything like that. There's no way it's going to set a record because it's just got the wrong type of gearbox. Uh, Donny Weaver, help. Howdy Mr. Lone Wolf, uh, Saturday is here already. Soon flies around, technically it's Sunday here for me now, but yeah, I still kind of count it as Saturday night really. But yeah, it soon, uh, soon comes around. I have loads of cargo containers, not on this map, because it's my mod playthrough, but I'm on original. Down there as well, because I originally started. Uh, if you look on the map, I was going to go like, was it down here? There was. Oh yeah, and then pop out here into the sawmill. But nah, <laughs> going this way is definitely a lot quicker. That's just too boggy, too slow. They overkilled it for themselves. It is what it is. I don't mind. I can go a different way. Uh, oh yeah, shit. I'm, I thought I was at a different part of the map. Just getting ready to ram that cargo container out of the way. To be honest. So yeah, well. Over here, I mean, it didn't bounce around and tip that time. But yeah, it's just this. So I put the power down gearbox. Uh, nice to see where you're going. Stevie Wonder can do one. <laughs> That's true, I've never thought of that, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not smoking like a mad one. I've not even noticed the smoke, so yeah. Now I can't even blame Stevie Wonder <laughs> when I'm hitting houses and trees and everything else. Could have sworn it was him, but turns out it's me all along. Part-time driver. Uh, I used to live in Michigan. <laughs> I used to have eyesight, I swear. Uh, I used to live in Michigan and the game is surprisingly accurate in its depiction of the state. Uh, oh, has this not even got a uh, an auto? Not that it matters again. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, this thing... We've got anything with a bit of speed. That's the thing, the Goliath's not going to have it. Goddamn horse has Oh, yeah, pick this as well. The eight, uh, dolphin tuned. Sod it, let's get this beast out. Hang on. What was that expensive engine? Kava GT... Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. S plus. Sold. See, I didn't even know that was a better engine. I've just seen the higher price. That's the way they seem to do it in this game. Not always, but there's another hint. It's with the tyres. Often the chains are the most expensive. Again, not always. What is it on this? Yeah, 6874, so the uh, MUDs. Well, these are custom mods though, but yeah, still, you notice on some sort, it's the same with the winches, 
the one at the bottom of the list, it might be, yeah, with these, oh no, it's the autonomous, but the twin motor, sorry, isn't as good as this one, the advanced heavy, and I'm pretty sure the advanced heavy is more expensive. Uh, sideboard. I've just kind of got a bit sidetracked. I want to actually have a go at this contest with something, yeah. To be fair, the Dolphin used to be like the second quickest on this course. Uh, the Tega was the quickest overall, still used to get a couple of seconds faster than this. Not entirely... Let's go with the bloody Azov engine. I'm guessing that Kza GT has like it might be more powerful, but it's got more rev caps or something. Because yeah, this is more like it. This is Dolphin. Uh, Place no runner had made over 30 ideas, update and proposal list one and a half hours. Was that for different uh, ideas in the game? tell this is not like the old school original dolphin. I don't mean the tune version is nice, like it's got a few extra bits and bobs on it, but I just mean in general where they've nerfed everything a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what something in high gear can actually do. Uh, it does have autonomous. You didn't fit it. Oh, was that on the, uh, the Navistar? Yeah, I'll have to, uh, I must admit, I'd rather put Autonomous on if it's got them. So I'll see Pepperoni Rolls. And then, that's how it starts. Well, again, I've not really, I've done all the missions on Season 7, so it was one of them where it's like, I'm gonna, it's gonna have to be a and then live stream because I haven't really got anything else to do. I need to uh, get cracking with Phase 8, Season 8, whatever the hell they're uh, calling it these days. Uh, Liam McCall, what's your favourite truck? Uh, again, if it's trucks, it'd probably be this Dolphin, although objectively the Zik 605R is just a very good vehicle in this game. I'd have no other, like, if, yeah, I, my favourite regardless is this. Uh, if you're talking like scouts and trucks, everything together, then it's definitely the, uh, the goddamn horse, the loaf. So yeah, normally stubs his chin down here. Not always, but it's a bit of a bit of a key theme with the old dolphin. One eighteen. If I'm rapid, I can get here about one ten-ish, maybe. But again, that's like assuming everything goes right. All the rest of it. Don't stub your chin down there. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on? Uh, the rumour season 8 is on farming. Uh, it'll be interesting to see, because is it Focus or whatever own... What's it called? Farming Simulator or whatever it is. So, at least, in theory, a lot of the groundwork behind that, they should have a bit of a head start on. So, instead of, like, safe uh, this season, well, this is tame here, but on Burning Mill and that, there's not a lot of content. Um, yeah, I'm hoping Season 8, whatever, they'll... I've heard there's going to be four maps, I don't know, but even if there was two maps just with plenty of missions and all the rest of it, all the rest of it then... Uh, yeah. Like, I'd sort of, it'd be interesting to see. Hopefully they've not gone too kind of cargo admin with it, where you got to keep messing around. But yeah, if the sort of background theme is farming and it's an excuse to go zipping from A to B in various different vehicles, completing missions, and generally it's sort of... Yeah, with certain things like Phase 7 where they've added racing, it's good that they've added it. I'm not even a particular fan of it, but 
whatever, it's still cool that I've added it, but they're almost trying too hard. It's like stick to Yeah, just snow run. All we need to do is add lots of missions. <laughs> like whether they're new groundbreaking, crazy amazing missions or not. Obviously it's nice if they uh at least add a few new features and things anyway, but yeah. It's like the game sold well for being snow runner. 307. It's pretty slow, not terrible. Would have to know though, where's like the OG Taiga? See what time that can put in. I'm glad, even though I've ignored just about every uh, upgrade in that, because this is the mod playthrough. I like how I've, at some point, <laughs> given up and just gone and got the stuff I want, so everything's got the top engine but not the middle engine. It's got the high range but everything else is locked. Got them priorities right. Mark Rose, Season 8's farming and there's four large maps. Yeah, so that's already, like, good news. Now it's like, oh, please be good maps and then don't completely kill them like they did with stuff, um... Like Yukon and that are more, there's bits and bobs I'd change, but generally speaking, they're too OP with the snow and it's four snowy maps, but um, yeah, I don't particularly hate those maps or anything like that. The Yukon, I did my head in, there's just, I was getting frame rate issues because of the uh, extra fog they'd tried putting everywhere. The mud was a pain in the ass, and it just, yeah, it already drained like a good chunk of the fun out of it you were just fighting against mud all the time and it was like but not in some exciting way in a everything feels underpowered way so uh, should to change the front bumper because what the hell I didn't press any of the buttons uh, yeah because that one like it stubs the floor a lot you want to preferably I think yeah that one sits like the most flush against the truck and all the rest of it. Tony the Tager. Uh, I'm back. My dog shit everywhere. <laughs> Did you do that from time to time? Not always where you want them to either. That's one good thing I'd say with a cat is to be fair, they're pretty good with just, like, knowing where a litter box is, for the most part. When we were kids, I remember... It was my stepdad had a cat, and it started trying to piss everywhere, just for no apparent reason. But one day decided that was its destiny. Oh yeah, I used to go flying through here. Not even have to stop, just hit cargo management, hit X, and drop the hammer. This was back in the days of grinding money, over and over. And someone added a money cheat <laughs> and it solved all my problems. Steve Neely, uh, they're adding uh, vegetables to cargo. Yeah, which again, that's cool, like as a. Just as something else as an excuse to go flying around the track with, really. So, yeah, overall, I'm uh, interested for phase 8. The sooner they kind of get it out, the better. That's what she said. Uh, and tractors, yeah, that'll be cool. I, I'm not going to hold my breath. I, even back in Mudrunner, I remember the tractor on there was, again, f fun to drive around for a little bit, but ain't winning anything. Ain't breaking any records or whatever. I think I drove one into somewhere deep. <laughs> That's all I said. Um, and then abandoned it, and that was it. Oh, yeah, I did put the whatever it's called in this Snowrunner, but what used to be the E7310 or something in Mudrunner. Could get that mod out later. And done. Um, it's definitely happening. Steve Neely K700 is one. What, are they adding that, sorry, to phase 8? Which would be quite interesting. I mean, they've got it from Mudrunner, so. It makes sense. Funny enough, I believe I've got a, some kind of K700 uh, in my mod list. See, it was up this side. Obviously, I just stubbed my chin there, so it's kind of irrelevant, but 
with the change, you're more likely to go flying back up the other side of the hill, whereas the muds would more often just come up with this stalling thing and I'd have to drop it out of high. It was just one of the ways that chained, just for whatever reason, seemed to be quicker. Ooh, me swerving around a bit there. What do you think the worst season is? I think it's seven. Yeah, probably for like content and all that. I, I quite like the map, so it's a shame. But yeah, overall I'd agree with that. I'd say phase two if it was just like the Yukon. Just, yeah. Again, frame rate, fog everywhere. Was, the mud's too OP. It was like cargo admin where I've got to try and take notes of where I've got this material and that material and not just normal way where you go to different warehouses. It was just, yeah, a little bit too much faffing around and there wasn't even any major payoff it felt like at the end. But yes, season seven is just sadly like there ain't a whole lot there. Even when you're five missions in, you're well aware that you're going to run out pretty soon, so... Uh, for example, European trucks, old Volvos, Scanias, uh, old Sisus. I'm not sure. I've heard of like Isuzu, but I don't know if it might be a different one. And uh, old Mercedes Benz. One of the update proposal lists could be. Uh, Steve Neely, yeah. Yeah, the K700, it'll uh, be cool to see that back. I think what was my quickest? 149, but it was with some mod thing. I think it was the, uh, the twin steer. So that's that while I'm chatting, I'm on another one. Uh, why do people hate the Kodiak? Uh, I don't necessarily know if they hate it. The biggest problem that someone said ages ago, which I agree with, is uh, obviously if you've got the Kodiak fully upgraded, that's one thing. When we got it in the game, it wasn't fully upgraded, but how far its upgrades were into other maps, by the time you get the upgrades for it, we've got stuff like the Taiga, so it just never... It was never in a... Uh, like a setting where we could get the most out of it. By the time you could get the most out of it, you could get the most out of the Taiga, the Dolphin, etc. But overall, I personally quite like it for an early game truck. Again, once you've got all the upgrades and whatnot. But it certainly has its limits. I used it in a, a mission the other, well, the other week now, I suppose. Um, yeah. And it was struggling on, on Season 7 Burning Mill. It was uh, not... Not doing great. And I was pushing my luck. I had cargo and a trailer and all sorts. But, yeah, the point being it's like other vehicles could handle that better so but driving it around all the rest of it I quite like it's quite a punchy vehicle it's not weighted terribly it doesn't tip like a maniac or anything so I think it's sort of all right rebel twice twinster and then that's true I can't remember it might have been the twice twinster I can't actually remember. I'm bound to have the Twice Twin Steer turned on just because it's one of the old mods I always do and Fox's mods don't like add anything to the memory really so you can just add as many as you like. Um, I could certainly try it. <laughs> could certainly and then that shit. Give it a go. See how it's... Uh... To be honest it was... Uh, I can't remember who but someone was cutting across the other side of this bridge but you had to when I was doing like this way to grind money and test the tyres yeah I mean again I will say in the Tager's defence like they've nerfed the whole game since I used to do this so the chances of uh, getting a decent run would be slim to none yeah they used to go on the other side and then cut up through the trees and I believe pop out sort of here but it was one of them where, like, if you get a good run, you'll get a fastest time. But it's sort of one in ten you'd actually make it. Whereas this was sort of like nine out of ten. So as far as grinding money at the same time, it was. Whilst I was tire testing, I was also racking up like hundreds of uh, thousands, really. Which then I bought a Voron Grad, and the game stole it off me. And I bought a Freightliner, and it stole that off me. 
tried to steal OG Loaf, but he's got that professional. He cloned himself and it stole the clone. And then he gave me a fucking brand new Dan to make up for it. Told you to get yourself a loaf. <laughs> it's got that professional. So even now, to a degree, like, I know it's getting darker in the game, but all this fog is like, I don't want the fog. Uh, problem with your Norway map. Sorry, I didn't see all that uh, comment. I couldn't download it again. It just wouldn't. It was saying an error before it even let me. I was going to say that's an invincible treat. What a bastard. How many uh, record times that tree was sabotaged. Certainly uh, better than the Ford clip. Which truck's that? Sorry. I... Again, oh, you're about the, say, the Kodiak. I like the Ford Clip, but it's a highway truck, so yeah, again, the nature of this game is sort of, you can't... It's like adding a go-kart on Gran Turismo. It's like, it's cool, but, yeah, a Bugatti's going to eat it for breakfast any day of the week, so it's never going to be like... Uh, yeah, I'll... Well, I was going to say, I'll be done without a tail. We'll get the... Uh... Goliath, and then I'll try and pick some kind of mission. But already, we, well, we know the life's goddamn professional. Uh, I'm going to do that up. Nav style's great, uh, except for the gearbox is what I'm personally not keen on, but apart from that, it's uh, it's the Navistar, again, minus the high range, but it's got different tyres and all that, which is cool. Dolphin tuned was, it sits higher and everything, so it's pretty cool. It was, uh, yeah, it's a bit of an older mod, that one. I've had it on for quite a while. And that was just normal Tega. It's not even a mod. So, same engine. Hey, up. Does this normally have the high range? If not, it's odd that this has got the high range and the Navistar hasn't. I ain't complaining, but... Sits on its tiptoes. Oh, and it's got nice tyres. What, like I say nice, they just look nice. <laughs> I don't really usually uh, plan too far beyond that. Hmm. I actually quite like the look of them, but I don't think it's going to matter either way because they're both mod tyres. Ice and snow s just as studded. It's in the chain section though. Sod it, let's give them a go. Ah, actually, autonomous. It's really matter. Oh well, I may as well put one of them on just in case. Try say my snorkels under the front bumper if I don't. I don't know if it will or not, but just rather than learning the hard way and having to go back and uh, add it on. Uh, it's a bad all it for that. I'm not really going to add loads of this stuff on, but this kind of stuff. Probably makes sense. Uh, it's sort of got floodlight things on anyway. Why does it just skip over? It won't highlight anything when I go on that. I didn't think the uh, Zix had a custom paint job anyway. Off the top of my head. But either way, whatever that is. I wonder if they're adding one in Phase 8. And then, you know, they've kind of like slipped a bit of the code in early with some like secret stealth update. Because I'm sure since, not last week, but before last week, say before two weeks ago, they'd done some kind of background stealth update. Because just stuff like where Norway wasn't working, all sorts of stuff where... I don't really know. That's a bright green colour. I don't know why that colour back there reminded me of... There's an old robot called like Deator or something off Robot Wars. <laughs> Probably one person out there one day and be like, yes, I know what he means. That's such an obscure reference. But first thing, getting a goddamn horse, because it's already been far too long. <laughs> so she said, oh, for God's sake, just pick the fucking vehicle. Use some initi initiative game. 
25% uh, of memory use with Norway, it took me to almost 75. Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to put a lot of the mods uh, that I use if I had Norway, but again, it still wouldn't even let me bloody download it. I say, I don't know I've got crane legs, but it's a fucking scout. It's a gigantic brick of gold, I'd understand, but it's a weightless loaf. How dare you fat shame my loaf? And he's in. Again, this game couldn't pick the right, right vehicle just by sheer coincidence. One day it will. Horn. Right. What missions have we got? Saving country bread. Saving a goddamn horse. It's an insult to imply that he needs saving, but I suppose they have to do something. Reach the northern road. That's a quarry. Yeah, sod it. I've clearly already been there, but. that way. In fact, I'll draw which way we're going to go. Could fly down there. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> One dot. What? Oh, sorry, I missed that. Uh, I don't use mods to progress much. No, same here. I've, my original playthrough, I'm pretty 99.9% .9 certain I've never completed anything that's like yeah, with mods. Uh, for example, like, I did use... Uh, oh no, because this is on my mod playthrough. So yeah, I, probably not even that. I was going to say this contest, but obviously I'd already done it with normal trucks. But uh, yeah, this is a different playthrough anyway. So yeah, I'm sort of the same. I um, have my normal playthrough to do everything how the game intended, so to speak. For better or worse. Um, and then I've got, yeah, this mod playthrough just to mess around with them really. Uh, the loaf needs Tatrin tyres. I certainly, I suppose I wouldn't say no, but uh, AGL, he's added, like, just, I like the look of them and the fact that they got them anyway, is uh, the Zix, the like baby Zix 605R tyres. Well, in fact, yeah, the, the Zix I'm in now, obviously I'll put a different set of custom tyres on this, but I never even looked, the loaf might have other tyres like this. I just, I've seen the Zix tyres, I like them, <laughs> I added them and that was it, never looked back. It's going to be a goddamn horse either way. Uh, today I had some loaf time uh, rolling uh, back over the 49X. Sounds like a good day, dude. After last week's live stream, I, I was on the game for like another hour or two, <laughs> doing more of my and then stuff. Uh, on White Valley. Jumping the loaf off and all sort of having a good old time. Again, I would have had it possibly in some uh, video. It's just been one of those weeks again. Busy week and... Yeah. Just stuff to do in it. As I am, Since I'm not desperate, it's like I've only got a couple of review videos left to do really. And I can do them all this week in theory, but I've kind of... Not really saying like I'm not in the mood to like that. Like if I've got other stuff to do, phone calls and all that, I'm not really in the just messing around and I can just do the review, but it's just gonna be a basic review. Whereas if I'm in the right mood where I'm messing around and I've got time to mess around and all the rest of it. It sort of helps. So yeah, it's one of them where when the timing's right, I'll get on it. But since I'm not in any rush, because they haven't even really getting along with their phase 8 anytime soon, so I may as well sort of save them for when I've uh, and yeah, just have a good old run at it in one night but yeah, I was messing around with a loaf quite a bit uh, last week <laughs> I remember leaving that trailer here ages ago <laughs> it's even on the mod playthrough but I've probably got a trailer like that on uh, the normal game as well but either way, I remember leaving that there Kind of go right away. There's a dot over there. See, once this 
Goliath picks up in high gear, it's pretty nice. Because uh, it's got like the high range. Which, like I say, it's odd that the uh, Navistar didn't. Oh, shit. I was turning. But decided not to kick in, so. No vault mission at the last second. Do a video, all mods, everyone. Snowrunner player needs. Uh, the only thing is, I, I'm not necessarily disagreeing, it's just. It depends. I could just pick, like, mods that are objectively good, but. I don't really know if I'd go as far as to say, you know, like, everyone needs this mod. According to me, if you know what I mean, it's sort of like, it depends what... Yeah, I don't know if, like, mods I enjoy would mean the same to someone else kind of thing. Plus, it's getting the, uh... Getting the mod... I've done so not many. I had the Heavy Wrecker. I believe I did a review on that. There's mods I've wanted to. This was back more like at Christmas time. Um... Review Fox's Snow Run uh, Snowrunner, uh, Road Runner, but it was just one of them. Kind of got put on the back burner while the new phase and everything came out, and then yeah, just I don't know. The first half of this year happened, <laughs> gone in the blink of an eye. To be honest, well, we're already in July, nearly in August. We're already coming back around to like Halloween and Christmas and all sorts. It's pretty crazy. Uh, Steam Neely development, say, uh, eight player test server early August. And is that, yeah, on the test server thing, so that's not even, like, us getting it in early August. That means we're probably going to be getting it in late August, best case, probably more like September, and knowing them could just as easily be October. Which, yeah, as far as me doing SnowRunner or just videos on YouTube in general, like, I don't want to go anywhere, if you know what I mean. I'm uh, When there's stuff to do, I'll be back on and doing it. And even in the meantime, it's like, if there's not a lot on, I'll... So I won't make a video, because I'm not just going to make one every day for the hell of it and not worry if it's a bit of a meh, boring video, because... I'd rather just not make a video if it's just going to be a bit meh. But yeah, while it's a bit quiet, like I say, I can sort of... Get on with some other things. So I'm gonna go to the left. Um, yeah, and then hopefully when phase eight comes out, and I, I can ignore everything else for a little while, crank out some uh, videos and all the rest of it. You know, even though uh, I'm on my eighth playthrough, I've never finished one. I've always restarted. Yeah, that's the which. I mean, not specifically with this game, but say like Grand Theft Auto. I did complete it 100% once because I wanted to unlock, I wanted to see the UFOs and stuff. But again, I did that on my br uh, my brother's PlayStation, so it'll. As far as like Grand Theft Auto trophies go, in fact, funnily enough, I bet I earned him a platinum trophy. It wouldn't surprise me, and uh, I don't even know if I've got one of them for myself. Certainly not on. Uh... Oh shit! I just travelled. Well, I did say find the Northern Road, didn't it? I wasn't really paying attention. I don't know if I... I think nothing came up saying mission completed, so... God knows. Well, maybe I've got to travel through here and then there's some northern road on a quarry. We'll have a look in a sec. But yeah, like, finishing one fully, I know what you mean. Like, there's certain... Just because I'm doing videos and all the rest of it, it's... If I restart a playthrough, I'm either going to be making videos on missions I've already made videos on. Or... I'm just going to have to say, right guys, I'm just playing the game for a few weeks, months, whatever, to catch back up to where I was. So I've kind of got a slightly different reason for not doing it, but if I wasn't doing videos and all the rest of it, uh, I, it'd be pretty likely, even if I didn't delete my first playthrough, I'd probably at least have other, like, the 
other save slots, I'd have a... Just, yeah, something. Um, what's this thing wanting me to do then? Not that it really matters, it just... So now you want me to go there. To Rift. Owls, is that what? This mission is for... Where the hell did I pop out? Oh, I should have just gone to that bloody gateway. Not that it matters, because... We'll go rallying across the quarry now, but... Um, so just kind of generally smash my way to there, follow that road. Is that a goddamn horse by any chance? Of course it is. Yeah, should be alright, just following the main road. A bit of proper daylight. Uh, last restart, two weeks before main. Name's that. I can't remember, was that phase 5 or 6? Rebel, just drive around live. Oh yeah, I remember these trees last time. They are, personally, they're not really destructible trees. Seeing as this, uh, this mod has got like some pretty fat, juicy tyres and tall suspension, it wasn't an issue. Obviously there's like a, a road that will go around the side back when we didn't have anything like this. You can try Road to the Mountain King mod map, it's very good. Oh, there's a tractor. Uh, if I, if and when they give me a tractor, that's probably how it'll end up. <laughs> and then I'll just be, yep, you can live there now, tractor. Or now a water tractor. Um, yeah, true, I've, I've not even seen that uh, map. Road of the Mountain King. What's that song? It's like the, I don't know if you guys would know it, the Alton Towers song. I just mean anyone from outside the UK might not link it to the Alton Towers theme park over here. Isn't that called like Valley of the Mountain King or something like that? Keeps reminding me of that for some reason. Yeah, I've not seen the map as I've been scrolling through, but I'll bear it in mind, like, as and when, if I get around to getting a map and all the rest of it, uh, yeah, I'll check it out, cheers. Uh, summing the streams till season 8 comes, <laughs> I thought she said then pop back over. It's true, again, I was like, when I was looking at the Norway map, I was considering messing around on that, but for two weeks now, it's just saying, no, I'm not allowed to have it, for whatever reason. Alex plays High Wolf, hi, hi. How's it going, dude? Thanks for joining us. Uh, my day went well. It's good news. That's what I like to hear. And I'm not saying this taking the piss either. Like, I genuinely mean this. You, when you said you were taking them to McDonald's, like, as a good idea. Don't be, uh, going to some five-star restaurant draining your wallet. Like, if they're interested in you and not the meal you're taking them for, then McDonald's is, uh, McDonald's is great. But yeah, no, I'm glad, like, glad it went well. It's good news, man. Is that, like, Nick or Knick? I'm not sure. Uh, those tractors will be Phase 8 tractors to collect and use. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wouldn't surprise me. But again, yeah, I'll use a tractor. I won't expect it to blow me socks off and uh, be, like, the new vehicle sort of thing. I'm surprised, in a good way, that they give us the Zik 605R is sort of uh, I think it's only because they give us a beast of a phase like the Amor region that they did which was good because without Zix it would have been even more it was a bit yeah, that they didn't give us snow tyres but apart from that the Zix in most other ways like lived up to it and uh, yeah between the Zix Dolphin, the goddamn horse. Got them missions sorted. Ooh, unkillable tree. One day. Well, I've tried. The These trees are unkillable. Not saying I'm thrilled about it, but. Gotta accept the nature of the situation. This goddamn horse breaks. What the hell is he doing on his side? Probably got an auto winch on him, but. Off. 
funny, it was dragging on his side a tiny bit then. So I rarely ever see that. Am I going the right way? Oh, it's a good job I looked. I was about to go left, so I need to go right. They've got the same paint job. What a goddamn professional. Through that turning circle. I would suppose I'm saving money for a vacation to the Bahamas. Sounds uh, like a good plan. See, on the opposite side of it, what I can say for that is years and years ago, I was going to go to the Maldives. I was going to take my bed there. And, but that's my point, was like, I wanted to go there. And in the end, I didn't. And I could say, I could say it both ways, the sort of like, some people saying, oh yeah, don't waste that sort of, not waste that, but you know what I mean. I could say then on the flip side is like, yeah, looking back, I should have just gone to the Maldives. Even if we split up a week later, I honestly wouldn't really care. <laughs> it would have been like a good holiday and all the rest of it. I'm not saying, I don't know if you go in there with, have like taken anyone in mind or just going yourself for the uh, the fun of it but gotta look at it both sides but yeah I was just saying as far as the date goes too many of them trying to hustle a free five star meal out of everyone so that's where I'll be going is McDonald's as well go to the Caymans uh, not Bahamas. Uh, as far as that goes, I wouldn't have a clue. I've never been abroad. <laughs> so, the Maldives, I don't know if it, it looks like it would have been good. The place I was looking at was like a, well, I'd say, private island. Not like it's, that would sound more fancy than it is. It's a pretty small island, but someone had divided it into four. There was four villas on it, and you got your own big deck in that goes out into the sea, and it was just that. Like, I. I ain't keen on all the touristy stuff, so the idea of an island where it's divided in the middle in like some trees and jungle and everything and uh, I just have a quarter of this little island that is for me there's a villa with a TV and all the rest of it but obviously you can get on a little boat go back to like the main island and do whatever you're going to do but yeah my idea was just chilling for a week or whatever in the arse end of nowhere and just enjoy it for what it is and again I don't regret not going I don't but I'm just saying if I did go and then hypothetically we split up a week later as long as she wasn't trying to uh, kill the buzz of the holiday then I wouldn't have felt like oh that was a waste but again that's because say I wanted to go there if I didn't really have any interest either way <laughs> she's going oh let's go to the Maldives I'd, uh, yeah. I'd probably regret going if it wasn't anything that I particularly give a shit about either way myself. If that sounds harsh, well... <laughs> invite me to the Maldives for free and then, uh, yeah. Now see if it's harsh. And this should be alright, it's not a massively wide vehicle, but I remember when I'm going to Rift now, there's like... The pathway to get there is a little bit iffy. Which you can tell this is not my normal playthrough. I've not seen the quarry this tidy in a good two years. Goddamn, I've normally got a goddamn horse sat around there somewhere, just for emergencies. Gotta have an emergency loaf. Not emergency deployment loaf. I've not done an emergency deployment loaf for a while, actually. I have to look into that. Best vacation is on uh, the back porch. <laughs> it's true, I'm like, yeah. In my living room is a perfectly great vacation to me. I just came to say hi, bye Wolf. I apologise though, I missed your name, but I appreciate it either way. Steve Neely, uh, camp at the river. I used to like going camping. It was, uh, it was good. So you're going to take Mrs. Campen. Sex is great. It's fucking intense. Get it? There's a goddamn horse. I mean, there'll be one lying around somewhere. 
I'm on vacation 24-7. Is that really just... Just living that vacation lifestyle in your head. I don't need a beach. It'd be nice, though. I wouldn't say no to a beach, but yeah. Steve Neely, same here. Disabled. Is that like as far as travelling and all that goes? Or do you just generally prefer, like, chilling? Yeah, I just like my own place anyway, if you know what I mean. It's... I just, that's why I say the Maldives as an example. It was like, it was an island in the middle of nowhere that is, yeah, <laughs> fenced off so it's only me there. And, yeah, that would have been, like, I'd have enjoyed that, but strictly speaking, I'd have been in someone else's villa that isn't mine. Not that it's going to bother me, I'm not going to be tiptoeing around on eggshells, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Just in my own space, my own place, I can do what I want. If I knock a drink over now, I'm not going to freak out and self-flagellate and all the rest of it. It's like, oh well. <laughs> Get a towel, mop it up, jobs are good enough. But I won't be panicking like, oh shit, I've just ruined some some person who owns this villa. I've just wrecked their uh, eight grand carpet or something. For what it's worth, I've got lino or whatever they call it, so if I spill a drink, I can just mop it up. I'm not wrecking any carpets. Oh, for fuck's sake. I pressed square and it travelled me back to quarry. Does it? Did it give me any mission award then? I wasn't really paying attention. I'm finishing Rift. Uh, what about you guys? I've probably got stuff to do on this playthrough on Rift, to be honest. It wouldn't surprise me. Brilliant. Yeah. Vacation is too much work. Packing, unpacking, arranging, everything. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot of faff that... Like, when I was younger and everything, uh, it was, I wouldn't really say it was a holiday. It was like, I used to go over to the Isle of Man a bit, but... There was mates over there. My brother used to live over there, so some of his mates and that. And it's, yeah, stick a few clothes in a bag, but it really wasn't like, right, you're packing for holiday. You just throw some shit in the car and drive up there, go on the boat, and then go and say hello to your mates for a bit. Probably a bit longer than, like, you would if you're just driving five miles down the road. But, yeah, we'll do some laps of the TT. Um, yeah, say hello to our mates do whatever it's like funny thing over in the Isle of Man it's sort of like there's the there's probably a couple of casinos but there's like the casino there's the <laughs> go-kart track so you sort of um yeah whatever's over there it's like you can go and see it when in scene was it like Europe's largest water wheel it's like laxy wheel didn't even get out of the car <laughs> pulled up in the car park stared at it through the car window probably uh, I don't know, fish and chips or something, <laughs> and then left. But yeah, that's my idea of a holiday. Drove there, pulled up, stared at it out of car window, and then left. It was a great holiday. The Hermit. Especially, uh... Well, the Hermit lifestyle was suiting me fine anyway, but especially when they were doing all this uh, Covid bollocks. Like, you're going to have to... That's why I was highly unresistant to lockdowns and all the rest of it. I've said before, I was like, I didn't even want to go outside until they told me I couldn't go outside, and then I really wanted to go outside. But then I just had to accept that I don't really give a shit anyway. I sort of remember this way. It's part of where Friends Loaf was filmed. <laughs> uh, and here. Yeah, I'm on that road. Where's the tree? Yeah, that tree. See, that's the one I tried to kill with the twice twin stair. It is an invincible tree, though. Credit where it's due. Took one hell of a beating. Well, it cheats in the end. That's where I learned to be like, well, fuck it, because I did it that hard with the twin stair. It literally fades through the twin stair. So at that point, it's like, well, I can't... If I hit it hard enough, it vanishes. So but what can I do about that? Which then I just kind of deemed myself and the twice twin steer the winner and moved on. Found some other trees to kill. It's good memories. Uh, it's a crime that there are no Gregs in the USA. I wouldn't cheese an onion pasta. Yeah, I must admit, I've, I've not been to one for bloody ages. When I well, when I stayed on at school, uh, there was one in like the town, I suppose, that I used to uh, walk down and get. Yeah, it was pretty good. Ham and cheese whatever, bake, whatever they called it, it was pretty damn nice. 
once I've found something I like, I'll just stick with that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really uh, get too experimental when it comes to food items and that. Just because if I buy it and I don't like it as much as what I could have had that I already knew I liked, I only have myself to blame. But yeah, this, I'm surprised Greg's would technically clean up, really, anywhere, because yeah, it's just, it'd be like an, it's that version of McDonald's in a way, it's like, yeah, the bacon pasty version of McDonald's. Uh, Brill, my wife, uh, says that about me, <laughs> hard to handle. Gotta keep him on the toes, <laughs> don't want him going soft. Literally, in some cases, metaphorically, mostly speaking. Also killed time in a bookstore between... Oh, just killed a tree. Well, it didn't. It actually hurts me more inside. A uh, bookstore, funnily enough, not just... It's one of them that... Just the other day, I uh, ordered George Orwell's <laughs> 1984 and Animal Farm. It's just one of them. It's like, well... Before they restrict that from me as well. I'll get them. Which I never read like a lot of books, strictly speaking, but I read a lot of shit. If you just in general, not even saying it's shit, but just yeah. Which partly like with insomnia, and that's always been start reading info, but then it turns out I couldn't have a sleep, and then yeah, I know a lot of random info about random stuff that doesn't really <laughs> benefit or otherwise I just I've read a lot of shit hoping it would make me fall asleep and it didn't and again we're not talking like that's not oh yeah I know a lot of shit it's like no this could be just random nonsensical needless information Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a TT video myself, Rebel. To be honest, I was playing it a little bit the other day. Um, as far as, say, a live stream go, I could still do a video. Um, I got blue screened a little bit. Not a lot. Unless I drove a different way to normal. I don't remember them posts sticking out of the water. They might have been, though. Um, yeah, blue screened a bit, so if I was going to do a live stream, it's like every now and then when I crash, it spot like if you spawns you back on the track, but the bike isn't there or anything, and it's like a, just a ghost bike, and the camera angle's a bit weird, and it's like, oh no, and then when you crash again, it blue screens. So doing a live stream on it would be a bit risky. Um, yeah, as far as the video goes, I've still, I've got a sub-16 minute lap. I still think I could squeeze in a bit of a better one. So it's one of them where... I might, I could make a video this week. I might also have a go and just see if I can sneak in a slightly faster lap. But yeah, generally speaking, I also, because I get little glitches here and there, it probably won't really matter, but I've not looked yet. The footage I've got of this sub-15 minute lap may have um, like a little second here and there missing. Not many, but again, that's where I don't know. I've also, because it was a 16 minute lap and I can only save 15 minutes of video, uh, I'm missing the first minute, but it doesn't matter because I can just, it will be the same driving regardless. I can just add the minute of a different lap. Uh, my husband would be uh, most happy if I told him, oh sorry, I told, I can see of travelling. Is it like if you told him you were tired of travelling? Uh, Rebel, no, during the week, uh, no comments. What do you mean? No comments. But yeah, you're about just making like a TT video, not a live stream. Um, which, yeah. Again, I've got the footage for. Assuming I go with that one. But it was a, like a 15.57 lap. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, it's the quickest one I've put in so far. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, yeah, so it's one of them. I'll like... I might have a little dabble and see if I can... Uh, shave a bit more time off but if not I'm still pretty happy with it as being a sub 16 minute I still want to get like 15 and a half because then preferably I'd like to be in the top 10 leaderboard if I could just for the hell of it and I'm 79th at the minute so I reckon I can easily get well not easily but 
I reckon I can break top 50 if I give it enough time, enough attempts, and I get one that actually works. And I make it the whole way through the lap. Because it's one of them, you can be 14 minutes into it. One tiny little mistake, you clip your shoulder on the wall and then that's it. <laughs> and then now that that lap being a fast lap is done, so you may as well click restart. Um, well, the, 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 did that mission. Pacifist. Oh yeah, because I'm on Rift. Oh, it's rescuing the Tatran. I don't really mind. It'd be a piece of piss to rescue in this, to be honest. Why have I got to take it? <laughs> That's definitely what she said. Um, oh, but I've just got to fix it up. I should have enough repairs. Sod it, we'll drive that way. What the hell is that? That's a goddamn horse. I've been here before. I know, and a, a JBE. Makes a lot of sense. Did I just drive by? Oh no, I went around this way. Oh, so maybe I do normally, yeah, cut around that way. That's why I've never seen them posts that were sticking out of the water. It's all coming back to me. Oh, fucking dating site. It's like, who even logs on to these things? should be gone now. The funny thing is, it's like, they make it worse by spamming the same message over and over. And it's like, even if, which I'm not, but even if I was interested, I wouldn't be now. Just for spamming it. Just on principle. I have a principled memory wank now. Right treat. Oh, <laughs> it bit me back. I was going to say, if you kind of catch your tyres on it, it inadvertently uh, seriously tightens up your tiny t uh, turning circle, but a bit too much there. Uh, bot, yeah, definitely. It's been about a month since the last bot. That's true. I get quite a lot of them, like, after I've uploaded a video, I've been removing them each time, but I get some spammy bollocks saying something that I don't really care about usually in like multiple languages and all sorts so yeah bots that's what I mean people who know how to do this shit like surely there's a more profitable use of your time but if they're just botting it then I suppose it doesn't matter it's the bot doing it fuck Joe Biden <laughs> let's go Brandon what's uh what's he fucked up didn't last the other week didn't he say he's got cancer and you know a president is bad when they say they've got cancer and everybody around the world just goes, I'll oh, ignore him, that's just his crazy fucking brain. Funny that I've seen earlier with uh, China saying if Pelosi enters Taiwan they're going to shoot her out the sky. At this point. Seems like win-win. But yeah, there's a... Uh, Generally speaking, I don't know, someone who was good at doing that, <laughs> China probably wouldn't say that, but at the minute why wouldn't they, when there's a potato running the, uh, the show, well, running it, I wouldn't trust that guy to run a bath, but he's the puppet they presented as running it. I'm sure you only have to take this thing. <laughs> she said, uh, yeah, not that far. Loaf AGL. Oh, is that us? That must just automatically be like damaged so you can't damage them. I was going to say it's packed in the truck, so. Is that all it needs? 68 repair points. It's a bargain. I assume fuel as well. Roof rack. Ooh. 
Tatra on. See, this is what they used to do back on these games. Like, I, that's now my Tatran. Someone mentioned it, and I agree, in the uh, Phase 7. We complete the missions, it doesn't make the trucks disappear, but it doesn't give them to us either, so we can restore them, sell them, whatever. How long are you streaming? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. It's anyone's guess. not going to be crazy long. I don't think I'll be going for, like, a five-hour stream or anything, but... Yeah, not specifically planning on stopping in, like, the next... 10-15 minutes or anything either, but yeah, mate, I don't know, another half hour, an hour, and you never know. Mark Ray, that's weird, talking about uh, women and dating site spams us. <laughs> yes, true. Was there not another mission where you had to tow the Tatrin, like, to here or something? It really wasn't far. I could be mistaken. I might have, in fact... I think it was in the water, and I originally have towed it to there. Yeah, I bet it's that, and then now, like, that was the second mission. And I'll be willing to bet, whenever I did it back in the day, it'll be goddamn horse and the uh, J16, uh, the JBE P16 that I probably did it with. Um, well, yeah, I'll be honest, I wasn't really specifically planning on ending up in Rift. I just hit that Northern Road mission and didn't really realise I was uh, having to head all the way to here. So I'm just at fucking lucky. Sorry that I missed some of that. Five hours and then <laughs> it could definitely go that way. Let's cut across here. Uh, brilliant, I'm not sure if Biden has cancer or just got COVID again and is confused about that. Along with everything else is confused about. <laughs> I must admit he really... Uh, thing is though that makes me not like worry but you know when generally speaking governments get to a point where they really do not give a shit how they look historically speaking that means the people looking are probably not going to be around that much longer like it's normally when they act like this and really don't care that yeah well obviously not historically so much in this case, but nukes and that will start flying, because it's like, oh, fuck it, no one's going to be left. No one's going to be left to judge us. There he is. The cat's turned up. So, I can see, it's, uh, is it dawn? Pretty normal for Nightwolf. Steve Hooten, uh, hello everyone. Ooh. Uh, you snow runners out there. How's it going, dude? Sorry, I got like double distracted. Cat turned up. Just gonna drive out of rift. This mod, by the way, uh, what's it called? Grendel. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Like, it's the Zix anyway, but like the Zix and then some. The tires are nice. I think the engine might be the same engine, but power-wise, that was never a major issue anyway. I think this has the higher engine. I definitely like that, because I believe that just the way they've coded everything, you get more out of an engine with the high-range gearbox. Not to say they're all that's the be-all and end-all. There's various vehicles where off-road, etc. Uh, in the clubs, I'd have the advanced special and all that, but... Um, yeah, just high range is less restrictive on the uh, the rev caps. World Economic Forum young leaders get crooked or cross with helpings. Yeah, that's the thing. That's where like the yeah the World Economic Forum. I think more people are becoming aware that there's a little bit more to it than the. Uh, you know, you just quote unquote vote some new random person and then they're actually running everything. Obviously, I mean, Trump is a good example. It's like, it's obviously there's various powers a president has, but you could see for the entire time there's like, they've got it set up so they can trip them up every step of the way, keep doing bloody, uh, what they call impeachments and all sorts of shit. But then when it's their side, it's like, they just look the other way, pretend nothing's happening, and yeah. It's not the first time, probably won't be the last. 
but as I said before, I, I personally have read into it and all the rest of it. It's just, yeah, I, I don't, I know about it, but I don't, get, I don't let them get me mad. It doesn't bother me. It's like, yeah, whatever. Like all these billions of pounds are all chasing and sniffing. It's like, I'm not, I'm not sitting here awake at night because I haven't got a gated mansion with private security and all the rest of it. So I don't know, fuck them, <laughs> let them have it. But, uh, yeah, make of that what you will. Yeah, that's the thing. So, like, I could say a lot more, but... Probably end up wiggling around in a cell next to Julian Assange, so... <laughs> I'll pace myself. Uh, let's go back to that gateway. Right, yeah, let's go this way. Uh, just got over COVID. I'm a cart pusher at Walmart, and like three of the workers caught it. I've done nothing uh, shot-wise for COVID. You, um, yeah, just got over it. Yeah, no, I've again with the, uh, the vaccine. Yeah, I'm not having it because they haven't. Yeah, but what I will say, because on the other side, I certainly don't trust them and all the rest of it, but. You know when people say like, oh, that's, they're injecting you with that and they can flick a switch and take take you over like a robot now. It's sort of like, given what they want and don't want, the people who have the jab would be allowed to live out of anybody, if you know what I mean. They're not going to want to save me, who's the one who's going, fuck that, stick that jab where the sun don't shine, mate. Like, as a conspiracy theory, it'd be more likely that they release something else afterwards that really is bad. And everyone who had it... ...who got their jab... ...gets a pass. And everyone who didn't. But again, I don't give a fuck. I don't mean I'm having it. But again, to people who did, it's like... It is what it is. I've known people who... ...had it. But we're getting kind of forced into it, you know, hinting like oh, you might lose your job. What's this mission? Just, I wish when you select it, you could. I don't know. It says details, but then once you select it, it says start tracking or whatever. It doesn't let you look at the details anymore until you go in this menu. Metal beams. Oh, from the Fallen... Oh no, Deliver 2. I think there is a warehouse here that might have metal beams. Whatever, I've selected it, I'm not. There's metal beams back on Drownlands. You never know. Um, Gentling first. Uh, I'll target at the last White House. Uh, man new white hats from Black Hats. See why he had to go. Same with a lot of people. John F. Kennedy. Like, there's probably a reason they still keep making it uh, classified 59, probably more now, probably 60, 61 odd years on. Whereas most stuff they declassify after 30 years, but if they're not, it's probably because they or their relatives are the ones that are responsible. Which is kind of obvious, we all say as a sort of meme conspiracy is like, oh yeah, who, sh who shot JFK? Make sure. Hey, my look, I'll end up getting four to the back of the head and recorded as suicide. But I kind of look at it as, well, I'll win anyway then, because I'm a random no one, and if you had to come and get me... <laughs> and it wasn't worth it. I'm just having a good time. Doing my own thing. The bad man uh, from Telford uh, had the... What's that? The, oh, the suite below. Ooh. There's loads of sketch shit. It's like Epstein, isn't it? When, uh, yeah. It's like, oh, the cameras were off. The guards fell asleep. His cellmate got transferred. He strangled himself to death with toilet roll. The first autopsy guy said... 
it couldn't possibly be suicide and they wheeled in the second autopsy guy that said yep it's definitely suicide which coincidentally was the same second autopsy guy they wheeled in for George Floyd after the first autopsy guy said it was an overdose and then they wheeled the same guy in and was like nope definitely couldn't breathe from being knelt on the neck etc like yeah it's just a movie if you know what I mean What am I here? Back on quarry. Have we got anything that's remotely yeah. pretty close, a bit too close. Well, I'm gonna need a crane for the bricks. I've only got to deliver them to there. So rescue that and take it to that yeah where I was getting the start in the cargo container mission slot. Let's do that. Well cat's back he tries it every now and then. We've got some dinners, mate. It's because I put some dinners down for him. So that when I start the live stream, he's already got dinners. But what he thinks is that I think. <laughs> but I don't know. He has dinners. So now after eating them, he's just going to ask again to see if he can get double dinners. Credit where it's due. I respect it. Strangled himself to death with three bullets to the back of the head. Yeah, there's a bit like the Clintons are it's so famous. It's called Arkansas. It's got its own name there, like the right body count by now. That's just them. Chubby, what's up here? Rebel, now I've had two shots, no COVID. People just see what they want to see. That's why I'm saying it's like... I don't look into it that way, if you know what I mean. I ain't having it, but... If other people want to and all the rest of it, it's like, yeah. I've yeah, that's it. The only thing is, like, when people are sort of going, well, we're going to mandate it and force you to, it's like, yeah, I'm not, not agreeing with that stuff, but... Other than that, like, people make uh, their own choices on... I have zero interest in, like, trying to make anyone else else's choice for them anyway, so it makes no odds to me. As long as I'm allowed to make my choice, then happy days. And that's where it's sort of like, yeah, I get to make my own choice, but to... Uh, not be selfish in doing that, it's kind of like I agree everyone else can make their own choice and then it's fair and then I get to be selflessly selfish <laughs> so it sort of works out without yeah like I don't just want it all my way and sort of like yeah but I do think it was a lot of fuss with that yeah. Well, this is only pandemic one. According to Bill Gates and that anyway. Brilliant, yeah. Kitty dinner time is a sacred right. <laughs> we have three cats. He's like he's got two lots of biscuits that he likes. He likes one flavour a bit more than the others, so they deplete a bit quicker. Yeah, he's got dinners, yogurts, all sorts. But, he will, uh... The first thing I'll be doing when I end this live stream is getting him some dinner. He knows. He even knows, like, when I was playing that Isle of Man TT game the other day, he soon learns, like, he... When I 
either restart the game because I've crashed or I've finished the lap. He just knows somehow. My brother's dog, Hugo, the one that had a Christmas hat on and all the rest of it, is an absolute goddamn horse of a dog. Um, yeah, he just knew. He'd watch you on the phone. He knew when someone was coming round. He knew who was coming round by how you said bye on the phone. He knew if he said, yeah, I'll see you in a minute, that someone was coming. It just all sorts of stuff. Like, he'd just listen to you and watch. And he'd figure it out. And that's part of the reason I just talk to my cat, assuming that he has full grasp of the English language, because he doesn't. But, you know, if, like, I was kidnapped by Chinese people and they just kept saying Chinese things at me, eventually... I'd know some Chinese, just, yeah, so they'd say the same noise every time they throw food at me, and then it's like, oh, that means here's food or something. Like, I'd, I'd pick a bit up. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't know if I can have a conversation with him about, uh, yeah. Not tonight. <laughs> Covid vaccines, for example, he probably ain't going to give a fuck, but generally speaking, he knows. Justin, and you're uh, Canada, not US. <laughs> yeah, true. Justin Trudeau ain't, uh, ain't exactly a shining star in the, uh, not a beacon. <laughs> leading examples. I can't, uh, let's see the list. Too many high rollers on it. Yeah, what's that like? Gislaine Maxwell list or something. Here they do, uh, what they want to, or try. I think they are everywhere, dude. Like, that's what I mean. Like, saying about by them, we've got our own bunch of twats over here. It's not anything... Uh, yeah, I think America's just a very famous example in a way. It's like it's always in the media in one form or the other. So as a reference point, it's just easier to mention that really because it's just yeah, especially like in the last five six years when you had Trump and that. Trump was an example of a horse they didn't own, and then you can see what they do. It was obvious from day one when, as soon as every media outlet started freaking out about him, it's like, well, <laughs> that tells me all I need to know, really. As far as, like, it was just funny to troll them lot. It was funny seeing them lot get trolled for four years. And he did good shit, I'm just saying, like, in that alone, just trolling them is funny enough. Jonathan, uh, so nosy dog, yeah, <laughs> he was the right nosy dog, he knew everyone's business. So again, like there, it makes the truck disappear. Um, obviously I don't own it, but it makes it vanish in season seven they'd probably leave it there but it wouldn't let me have the truck so it just sit there now as a truck which it doesn't really bother me all the stuff scattered over uh season seven or whatever it is yeah I, I just, you can kind of tell i had to get over that a long time ago got them horse um just for doing videos and that i've not got time to keep going back and tidying everything up and i don't like to now i kind of like that i've just yeah let it go it's not another one of these tosses is there gone. There's another one down. Got the bots biting tonight. Uh, I don't really want to do that brick. In fact, what's a different mission? Let's just take this back to the garage. Uh, a different map. Just to lynch its back. True, and I, I don't know because I didn't look at the last one, but it should be a uh, I banned the last one. 
or said hidden on this channel or something. I don't, I'm not really used to it. I don't. I rarely use all that sort of stuff. Uh, oh, I wasn't. No, <laughs> just autopiloted. That's how many times I've done that bloody mission. Just assume the position. Yeah, but part it certainly is. Uh, what do you think about switch mods? I honestly have no idea, dude. I don't own a switch or anything. I've never seen the mods on it, how they work or anything else. So I honestly couldn't tell you. Right, again, assuming that they're the same as these mods. Uh, yeah. My opinions would kind of transfer over to these mods, but again, I don't know. If it all does work out the same, but I've got no reason to believe otherwise. I've never heard anyone say anything different. Assume the position, <laughs> exactly. That's certainly what she said. Uh, we only have 271 mods. Uh, I'm just trying to think how many we must have. And to be fair, we've probably got a ballpark around a thousand, because I think there's like 111 pages or something, and there's uh, nine on each page. Um, yeah. Still though, 271. I d again, I don't know, like, there could easily be all the mods I'd want in those 271, but there could also undoubtedly be certain ones missing and all sorts, so uh, yeah. I, I haven't got a switch to be able to look through, so I couldn't honestly say. Justin Lynch, different logo, guys behind bot might have made a new account. Yeah, true. Probably, uh, yeah, try and start targeting me for a bit. Again, it's just the bots normally when I upload a video. It takes half an hour or something. I assume whatever they code in they write is like when a new video gets uploaded, post a message on it. I think they used to do it instantly, but they seem to have had like a half hour delay on it now, assuming that like the person who uploaded the video sees it's uploaded, sort of says, yep, good, done. And then they uh, post their message. And sometimes, that's why, like when I post videos, I might go to bed afterwards, and uh, yeah, I won't see it until like the next when I get up. So they're getting sneakier. Uh, I think it's not that I dislike flooded foothills, especially not like with mods. It helps balance it all back out. But it's the amount of fog and everything on that game—it just feels a bit depressing to drive around by comparison. I didn't necessarily mind a bit of a snowy map. It was White Valley, but inevitably going to end up jumping off the cliff, but there's not really anything super rapid tonight that I'd have a chance. I think the Roadrunner used to land about there. Somewhere around there anyway. Like It got pretty damn far. It, to have something quick enough that lands this side, it, it's not really going to realistically happen. But yeah, most of tonight probably wouldn't even hit the water. Not that that's inherently like, yeah, <laughs> the only thing it needs to achieve. What the hell did I go in that I ended up off that way? Who even knows? Could have been the uh, that massive boat thing that you could load trucks back onto. Rebel, yeah, close to a thousand. Yeah, we've definitely got a lot of mod choices now. Like, yeah, 111 odd pages. Uh, we just went over 1,000 mods. Yeah. Rebel, main. That's true. I don't know. I'm not even sure what I've got on main. On this one. It's like this one, isn't it? Yeah. In theory, I might have... Well, I've clearly explored the map at some point. Well, I must have been, yeah, on mod live stream. Whilst this phase is out, yeah, I've done all of them. Got two of them. And one of them. Sort of, do you know what? I'll do this mission and then I'll probably. call it a night, pretty much. Well, I might mess around a bit after that, but yeah, I'll probably be about done by then, I reckon. Uh, CSR. 
watch that massacre YouTube watching YT uh, can you use your uh, fasted mod and jump off the runway uh, well yeah <laughs> don't have to ask me twice I, uh, I certainly can just trying to think what the fastest mod I've got is but yeah I'll have a quick blast and do this mission then uh, yeah I'll finish it off and I'll go to White Valley again I've all else fails I've got the twice twin steer which is pretty rapid it's got the high range it's got pretty massive tires and all the rest of it see that's why that um, Grendel or whatever it's called that Zix thing I keep wanting to call it the Goliath um, that's why that felt pretty quick driving to rift and everything because it's got the high range but it has big tires what inch of the tire? yeah 67 so might even be a few inches bigger than the, uh, the Twice Twins there, unless he upped them as well, but I think they were 63. Um, oh, I'm probably going to get a loaf. I'm not, not worried about that. It's usually settled. I just want to see what I've actually got to do with the mission, what I'm going to need and all the rest of it. So, four metal beams. Is there anywhere can go there but how many have I got left here? Two. So I'd need another two. What's this got? Two. So that's them done. Uh, concrete blocks. Not even there. Probably down here though. Maybe. Concrete blocks, so it's got two. Great. Where have they stashed the other ones? Is there any over here? Nope. Don't tell me I've got to craft them. Yeah, that's that stuff. Uh, where's that? Where else? There. Yeah. the concrete blocks then? I've got two, but there's obviously two somewhere else. Is it going to be on the uh, this map? Is it going to make me build them? Metal rolls. Is it going to make me take cement here and build yeah, concrete blocks? Uh, well, I'll do the metal beams first, it's not the end of the world, just to fly there. Sometimes I've got a ramp flatbed. <laughs> Definitely been here before. Alright, right. new view for a bit. Rebel, finish it, and then <laughs> that is most likely what's going to happen. Uh, what's your thoughts on season eight? Yeah, I'd sound like as far as the farming goes, I'm interested to see what will be happening and everything. But I've not seen any footage of it, uh, like nothing. So I can't really. Yeah, I sort of can't really say a whole lot on it anyway because I, I don't particularly know uh, what it's going to be. I sort of purposely, not that I don't, I don't mind hearing stuff about it, but I just mean I don't go and like watch videos and stuff on it just so when I get it it's like my first impressions. But yeah, as I've not really seen anything, not even like, usually at some point, whether it be like SD11 or TC Gaming or something, they might, I won't click on the video, but in my YouTube feed it might recommend a video. I was going to say, there's a goddamn horse just floating in the air. It's 
it's probably because it counts as like I'm flat from the driver to the loaf. It's obviously in the f lock in the physics in place point. If that is a goddamn horse, but could go either way. He's definitely a goddamn horse, but could be both. It's a double victory horn for that. Right. Well, the first two concrete uh, metal beams even are right behind me. around two hours. Oh, there's another two metal beams. Hmm. Do you know what? I was going to say earlier, like, that place I just got these two from has four in. And, uh, yeah, I've obviously been here before on a previous mission and just probably tested a trailer or something and I've ended up abandoning these here. I'll come back and get those other two, sod it. I was going to... I could try and stack them on top of this trailer. It wouldn't really be much of an issue, but... Sod it. Do two runs. Oh yeah, no bridge. See, funny enough, I had a bridge laid over there because uh, I just not enough memory to turn the mod on all the time. It probably turns as quick as like a normal Zix would. It's just more now it's got a high range and bigger tyres and all the rest of it. It'd, just, it'd be nice if it turned a bit quicker, but it's not specifically. It's not like the modders set it up where it turns too slow. Okay, so I took a bit of a terrible line trying to get up here. I'm entirely sure what I'm. I think some stuff on though. The problem is you can't reverse a lot now because the trailer will just tip, which um, I could get a crane in that, but I sort of can't be asked if I'm honest. Well, normally I would be asked, but it's just when the trailer forces you to do it because you needed to reverse. It's not as it's not as fun the 500th time you have to do it for the same reason. with how I drive. It doesn't take long until I'm going to crash something, so if the game could just wait until I make the mistake, <laughs> it'd be nice. Well, I'd still make plenty of them. Um, I don't know where I'm roughly going, but I kind of want to just rally across, so... Uh, yeah, there. I want to poke out there, rally across, and just do that. What a plan. Uh, let's get it back to daylight. Uh, like, do you like the farming idea? Uh, yeah, in theory. I don't know how it's going to play out, but say if I'm like sort of optimistically thinking, like it should be cool, and uh, as long as there's plenty of content and all the rest of it, then yeah, uh, overall it should be good. I'm not disappointed to hear it's farming or anything. As long as they've not completely lost the point of this game and just you are now running a farm and that but um yeah other than that like it's it'll be interesting to see the trailer was thinking about it during the week could you try to do a tt video um yeah i'll take possibly yeah it's again i've got the footage that i could just use that but once i look through the footage if you know there might be a big glitch in it i'm not not too keen i might have another go at doing a shorter video uh, like a quicker lap even but yeah in theory in essence i'm happy to uh do a tt video it's definitely a well for the money i got it on offer while i assume the tt was on in the other man but uh, uh yeah like well worth the money. I think the Manx is coming up in the Isle of Man where it's it's basically oh, I've probably gone the wrong way. It's the TT, but oh, it won't really matter. Um, yeah, I'll just cut across 
there. I think normally what I did, to be honest, was cut across to here and then go across there normally, but it shouldn't really make much of a difference. Um, yeah, if the Manx is on, I don't know, but they might put the game back on offer. Less likely, it's more the TT that they probably did it for, but it's a four odd year old game, so yeah, they might do. And again, I got it for like £1.59 or something. Absolute bargain for that. I think, didn't you say, Rebel, you paid like $3 for it or something? Uh, assuming this water isn't... Oh, no, it won't be, because there's tracks going through here. It actually goes deeper over there. That's what she said. Um, I'd kind of like to go that way now, just to... put this stupid trailer. It'll be a dick as soon as I try to reverse or do anything with it. Solid. Do you know what? I'll go, I'll go back and get those other metal beams, and I'll just do, do it that time. It's a clean shot into the sawmill. What's that? Was sorry, I might have missed it there. Off-road trailer. Uh, you can lock the dolly. True. I don't. Uh, I've probably got the normal one. But it doesn't necessarily completely cure it. But I admit, yeah, the the dolly option. It's all nice to have. It's it's part of how this does it. Is it? Yeah. Twists like the dolly axle underneath itself and just levers itself over. Generally speaking, I don't trust this trailer anyway. <laughs> right, when it comes to reversing, I do not not like to even think about having to reverse in, uh, to reverse in this trailer. Uh, Mr. Master of Games, hello, how's it going, dude? Thank you for joining us on the live stream. Run from B. I've heard it's more maps and contract uh, tasks than so many people complaining about season seven. Yeah, that's what it should be a like. A bit of a good one, I'm hoping. Even with a uh, phase four, the Amor region, obviously it was a. I still quite liked it overall, but it was definitely a bit of a punishing set of maps. But there's certainly plenty of content and all the rest of it there. So yeah, hopefully it goes with a bit more of a bang. Season seven, they definitely. Yeah, one way or another, they got delayed on stuff. Oh, I can't. Know. I've just hit square and it travels through the gateways. It's my fault, but I used to do this all the time. I think, don't you normally press square for cargo management or whatever? I don't know. Some autopilot. And I just press it, and then it's like, ah, oh, shit. As soon as I hear that noise and it starts travelling, I already know. I know what I've done. But yeah, I think... Uh, Yeah, it won't be a bad thing if they've kind of learned, yeah, just at all costs, add more. I mean, it couldn't possibly have taken that long to just add another 10 or 20 generally irrelevant missions, but just add more content onto the Burning Mill map. And again, they might have got delayed and all that, but yeah, it's like, I'll give them some late leeway in that sense, but it's like you're a you know, billion dollar company or whatever, so or shit, you ain't getting that much leeway. Like, hire more people. Spend some of those profits. And, uh... Yeah. But, then that being said, it's a two-year-old game, blah, blah, blah. It's... They're not being as ruthless as someone like EA or Activision would be. So, in the scheme of things, they're, uh... They've been fairer than most businesses that are in the gaming industry, because they get away with it a lot. Uh, Brilliant. I think the sorry, hair in the mouth. Uh, I think the upgrade to the next gen uh, ate too much of their development cycle for season seven. Yeah, I agree with that because it did start, and then when they sort of doing the cross play a bit as well, I think a lot of that, which I fully agree with you, and I'd say that's I think what happened. But then I'd say to them, but you're a billion dollar company, so hire more people but yeah I, on, I absolutely agree I think that is exactly what happened they just sort of got caught up there's probably again like maybe in theory looking back they'd hire more people themselves but they probably thought oh, we can get it done with what we got things got a bit delayed and out of hand and uh, 
yeah, it is what it is. Like I say, it's not the end of the world, but it's their own reputation sort of thing. And it sounds like if they've uh, added more stuff for Phase 8, they kind of realise that, yeah, everyone else was saying the same thing. Like, we get why you might have got a bit delayed, but make sure you don't release Phase 8 with Soddle on it, because, yeah, we'll all, be <laughs> we'll all be done in a week and back to saying, well. Which, like I said, I don't know where they're going to go after this. I don't know if they're just going to try and do a SnowRunner 2 or MudRunner 2, whatever, some theme like variation of this game or if they're going to attempt to season 3 or if they do like a mini half season because as I said at the minute by the time we get phase 8 it's going to be like October odd it's going to be like it's already halfway through the third year really we've already had the game now for two two and a half years so they might do like a mini half season to take us around to say like April May time next year with say two more phases or something. Jesus Christ, man. We're on it tonight. Got that one pretty quick. Uh, sorry, I missed some comments there because that bumped him up a bit. Rebel, yeah. Can't help themselves. I assume that's probably another different one. But again, it's just a bot. Even if it's a bot account, it'll be like bot one, bot two, bot 3700, etc. So. Never know, no my look. Some human behind it heard me tell them I'd have a principled memory bank, and now they've taken it personally. Which, ironically, is the goal of every dick. So, deliver, yeah, what? How do I drop it off though? Does it say cargo? See, I think that this is where I'd hit square, yeah, and travel. Deliver to the south west tunnel. better off coming this way then. Have I built this bridge? Probably not on this playthrough, no. Great. I'm probably going to fuck that mission off then. Would have been better off. No, like, again, it's me. I'm not paying attention either. Um, if I'd gone up here and gone through that gateway, because then it'd be a lot quicker to get to there. For the hell of it, while I'm driving, I'll go and take these metal beams, but I'm probably not going to do the whole mission. But this truck is like a bit of a beast mode, so it's not really going to struggle with it, so while I'm heading that way. Ship cargo hauling might be fun, <laughs> it's true. Uh, yeah, Ocean Runner. It wouldn't, wouldn't put it past them uh, thinking about it. In a way, though, I wouldn't put it past me <laughs> being interested in buying it either. Like, before Mudrunner, I couldn't specifically have said I'd enjoy driving around uh, in a truck like this, but obviously I do. A lot, I think a lot of us do, that's why we got onto this game and all that, but yeah. I could see myself zipping around in ocean liners delivering stuff. Especially when you think they're not actually a million miles from it. If you look at maps like Drummond Island and all that, uh, you kind of uh, uh, there's a big oil tanker thing in the background. Even if it was like a little side thing on SnowRunner 2. Not side thing, but you know, if they had like a map with a big lake and you actually did have bits where you have to drive a boat across the lake and that would be a. Uh, yeah, quite interesting in its own right. Finally getting uh, some rain here, hear it hitting the chimney. True, I miss the sound when I used to live in a caravan. I had like a. I don't know if it was a literal tin roof, but. Not. Not uh, tiles and all the rest of it. And uh, yeah, the sound of the rain when it absolutely used to nail it down. And when you had like 
I mean, not hurricane winds, but when you have good old winds, <laughs> like rock you to sleep, it's great. We don't really get, yeah, hurricanes, don't really get anything too crazy here. Even the weather knows. Good old British tradition of uh, moaning about the weather. If nature sent us a hurricane, we'd probably, I don't know, declare war on the weather. So it's just we have, like I said, the most aggressive animals we have is like a bumblebee. And any ones that can kill you, we killed them. That's what I mean. We just killed everything in nature that was thinking of killing us. So there's not really anything left to kill us. Even the weather doesn't bother anymore. And that's about it. It's pretty difficult to die from the weather or an animal over here. It's not impossible. Compared to, like, Australia and that, where... Well, yeah, to sum up Australia, there was a picture once of a dingo, so a wild dog, eating a shark on the beach. And in the foreground was a snake that had been caught in a spider's web. And it's like, yeah, that's... I mean, I'll stick to England with, like, I don't know, a rude field mouse. That's about the worst thing you're going to come across. Yeah. That's what she said. Uh, get car sick and first person view sick. Do you mean like car sick in real life? I was going to say with the first person view. I've noticed with that um, TT game was like after ages driving on it, it kind of, for anyone who's got it, if you're playing it and you pause it, the kind of to give you the illusion of speed, it's all, it's like it gives you tunnel vision a bit. And I, the other day after playing it for a while, I was like, when I looked away, it sort of for a few seconds was like, oh, made me a bit. Ooh. Yeah, I don't normally get anything like that, but I think I was uh, staring at it for too long. I haven't had a good sleep in over 10 days. Yeah, that's not not good. Good sleep will uh, sort you out. Well, I've always had a bit of an issue with that, but. Yeah. Not having a good sleep in over 10 days is not good, but. The sound of the rain's on its way. It always helps. I could get to sleep easier back then. Uh, yeah, in like the... Thunderstorms. I'm always a bit nervous. Not nervous like that. I, d I don't like going out in thunder, though. I've been... When I used to live where I used to live... At, um, in East Yorkshire, there was... We were at the beach playing, there was like, it was a sunny day, blah blah blah, clouds come rolling in, but they are honestly like, to the point where, yeah, I'll get my tinfoil hat on and be like, I look like some harp weather experiment shit going on. It was like the blackest clouds I've ever seen in England. Came out of nowhere. It started raining from like, you could see a mile or two down the coast, of the cliffs down there sticking out, and it just, coming towards us, the cliffs were just going invisible. It was r the rain that just started out of nowhere and just obviously light was covering everything so you couldn't see it. And then yeah, seconds later lightning was smashing around all over the place like you never see over here. And as we were like, yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Um, I was not too far from a house that had scaffolding around it and then that got hit by lightning. And then yeah, and funnily enough, it was I was with my mate and his dad happened to be driving down towards where we were because he knew we were out and he figured like god damn that's some serious lightning we don't normally have um so we sort of passed him and then got in the car he was pretty much pulling up to the other side of that house it was back from the road a bit but we were both either side of the house when the lightning hit it and uh yeah just generally speaking because like i said it's pretty difficult to die from the weather over here no, my luck, I'll be the one that gets hit by lightning if I'm out in it. So, I mean, I'm not going to, like, have PTSD and start panicking if uh, I'm out and it's lightning, but if it's getting a bit crazy, then yeah, I'd rather not be. Uh, it's going to make me go up here. Not fix that pylon, so I'll probably have to go around. I'll just draw another dot here because I'll just kind of make it up as I go along, so I might not necessarily hit every pre planned dot. Uh, yeah, let's give that a go. South Carolina's uh, state bird is the, <laughs> the mosquito. 
Well, we have them over here. We don't really have the ones that seem to have malaria and all that, I'm sure. There's some that have got some sorts of... I don't know, it's just not really like... But we get bitten by them and they piss us off. But again, we killed all the ones that were taking the piss. Well, or they just realised to not come here. Uh, our critters get bolder every year here. Got wild turkeys roaming parking lots. <laughs> it's like, it sort of be cool in a way. We've got, I don't know, foxes here. Foxes scream like a girl is being murdered. So you hear them sometimes at night and that can be a little bit freaky. What was funny, once I was camping in the Isle of Man uh, with my brother and it was on Halloween night. I know this sounds like some cliche bullshit, but it is what it is. I was camping on Halloween. We heard a scream like that. And my brother was like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah, it's foxes. And then he's like, yeah, we don't have foxes in the Isle of Man. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Now we're both sitting here shitting our pants. Like, what the hell's out there then? Yeah, I'd rather he uh, didn't share the information that apparently foxes don't exist in the Isle of Man. There's a few wild wallabies, funnily enough. I think they escaped from a zoo and then now they're living the dream. So rarely you might see a, a wallaby thing. It's like some version of a kangaroo. But again, that's not it's not like native to it. Apparently they escaped from the zoo. Don't even know if they're still alive now. This is going back 10, 20 years. I think they were, you know, had bred a little bit and were... But yeah, they could have easily been extinct <laughs> by cars hitting them or there just wasn't enough that escaped to carry on as nature intended. They are that big. Is that, yeah, the mosquito is like a... Well, we get, yeah, it's the little bugs flying around here that they sneak in. They're the ones that bite you and you don't even see them. But yeah, I'm still glad I'll take them over the, uh, the gigantic, horrific critters that you guys all over the place have to uh, deal with. Columbia, uh, South Carolina is the armpit of the south, that's where... Uh, they make humidity. <laughs> yeah, that'd uh, get to me after a while, it's the humidity. But then at least the air con, like, you don't really have that as much over here. as a mainstream, like, in-your-house thing, but I suppose that helps take a bit of moisture out of the air in that as well. Skitters, uh, that size, don't go after people. They prefer cows and horses. It suits me better. I mean, again, I still personally would... There's something exciting about if there was wild Tyrannosaurus Rexes running around. I'd just find it... Yeah, a bit more exciting. Like, when you go to the shops for milk, it's like, just remember there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex that might get you. Keep you on your toes a bit, but... In the scheme of things... Well, again, I can say it quite comfortably over here in the UK that it's... Yeah, imagine how much shit could be flying around. A giant pterodactyl, you just have to get milk and then that's it, you're gone. Oh, you have to do it, cargo. Well, I've not got a crane, so. See, but that's. It's there where the trailer hasn't tipped, I haven't tipped. And I think that the auto unpack is a little bit ruthless. And what I could do normally, if I do it on live stream, it'd cancel the live stream, but I could quit and reload and it'd probably load me back just down the road the last time it saved and then they'd be back on the trailer. In theory now I'd have to just go and bring a crane vehicle which wouldn't necessarily bother me. To be honest, for the sake of it, I'll just drive. Assuming that the cargo stayed on. This is the way I would have gone and yeah, apart from that tip it looks like it would have been fine but it's just where this trailer's a bit harsh. And if they had a version with sideboards that's where that wouldn't have slipped off but anything flatbed in it. Obviously, once it auto-unpacks, it's just gone. Oh, is that a Derry's Life? Uh, hi, Mr. Lone Wolf. Thanks for the videos, dude. No, no worries, man. Glad you're uh, enjoying them. Again, if there was more stuff to do, I'd be cranking them out at a bit of a faster pace, but... Yeah, apart from that, though, yeah. I'm uh, glad you're enjoying them, dude. Uh, Corsac 1443, you should uh, hear a peacock screaming. Sounds like mountain cat. True, yeah. 
Uh, there is, funny enough, in the village I live in, I think, I believe there is a couple of wild peacocks that, again, are probably originally on a farm and just decided to go for the uh, nomadic lifestyle, but my brother's dad as well used to have a farm and there are peacocks on there. And turkeys, I got chased by a turkey. Um, yeah, funny, it was Dave, Dave kicked it. <laughs> sort of harsh, but not harsh. It was the size of me when it was chasing me. And he wasn't exactly an adult. But yeah, it was a turkey chase. Again, actually, funny enough, my brother Adam, he got scratched down his face by a peacock. They can be, uh, well, they're not really little. They're probably one of the bigger birds you'd see over here, outside of a zoo. And yeah, when it, like, wild is a bit, yeah. So in some areas, it's ones that are just fucked off from a farm and decided that they're cool, just chilling where they're chilling. But it's not its not like we have wild peacocks, but in various areas around the UK, there's bound to be some that have just decided that's the life for them and that's it, they're now wild. And again, there might even be somewhere where there is actually a thriving population of wild peacocks, I'm not too sure. But yeah, we see them rarely over here, but every now and then. Which, yeah, they're pretty cool. I like peacocks. Uh, well, it's not going to let me travel through the gateway. I lost my wood. <laughs> not my wood, my metal. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, so yeah, kind of kills that mission. Well, it wouldn't really matter. I would have delivered two lots of metal beams and probably not done a lot else. Now you can live there forever, trailer. You get. Uh, well, I could travel to White Valley. But I'm just going to see if there's any like little random mission. Oh, fuck that! I ain't doing that one. Yeah, and then you'll say I've not got slabs, and I've got to go and build them. I don't know where that goes. What are these? Oh, hell no. And hell no. Well, I'm going to drive back just so I can take these to the garage. Uh, no T-Rexes. Oh, shit. Well, it's close. Oh, I did stall the engine, but autonomous. But it's going to keep tipping. Um, mountain lions are spreading from the west. Yeah, true. That, to be fair, that'll do the job. Yeah, certainly... Uh, Okay, well, I might have seen a mountain lion in a zoo or something, like that, but certainly not roaming around here. Um, yeah, I've seen a few like on YouTube and that where people have been yeah walking along a trail and a mountain lion comes out. It's definitely keep you on your toes as well. Probably uh, well if I lived anywhere as mountain lions, it's like I'll be armed at all times. If that state says I'm not allowed to be armed, then I'm off. <laughs> I'm off to the next state that says I can. But yeah, like I said, you might get some kind of hyper-aggressive field mouse over here, but other than that. A bumblebee, but it's a British bumblebee. It'll sting you to piss you off, but it won't try and rape your kneecap and lay tarantulas in it or something. Six, it, like this whole area of mud kind of normally makes you go really slow whereas this is uh, possibly just being custom tyres it just it's all good and again AGL loaf is bouncing around but he doesn't take damage uh, Rebel yeah White Valley I will head that way at some point well, I got the metal nearer to where it needs to be. An attempt was made. That was the important thing. We tried and we took part. What more could you ask for? Just, I'm not going to do this. I was just curious to see. Again, I should have just clicked details before I start tracking. I had a feeling it was going to say metal beams. I know there's only two there and I'm not doing it anyway, but I had a feeling it was going to say that. <laughs> Even the fact that it's three, not two like they know. Uh, 
Uh, I've been playing Star Citizen for the last few months, I've been so trashed. Uh, Star Citizen, I've heard the name, I couldn't even tell you the game. I might have seen, like, I've definitely heard about it before. But yeah, I could, like, I wouldn't be able to tell you what sort of game it is, but if you tell me what sort of game it is, I'll probably be like, oh yeah, that sort of rings a bell now. I'm thinking of a... Uh, well, I know it's not this, but it's just just my mother is like that Star Fox or whatever it was from way back. But with that Star Citizen, I don't know. I keep thinking it's in the same realm as like Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I know it's not the same franchise or anything anyway, but is it that, like, type stuff, or am I completely off the mark? Again, I don't know it, I just, I've heard about it before, and I'm trying to think what genres of games that I've, like, when I would have just heard that being thrown in there as a similar game. I've heard it's good, though, that's why it sort of, I can remember a bit about it, or just the name rings a bell. Sorry, main bad idea. No, it's all good. Again, I've because I've played all these in the past on live streams. I've used a lot of the good missions. It was a nice little drive to go that way. I mean, in strictly speaking, I made it to the gateway. All I would have done is click square twice and drop two lots of metal beams off. So, even as far as the footage goes at the minute, it's not like the end of the world. We, the same situation pretty much would have occurred. So yeah, no, don't worry about it, dude. To be honest, I wanted to go driving on a bit of snow and I've got that here so it worked out pretty well and then I can go to um, Y Valley now anyway double win <laughs> Charlie Sheen by winning over here uh, we've got mountain lions here in Wisconsin but the state DNR refuses to admit they are here yeah that's the problem sometimes it's alright for them to say they're not here but when you get any leg chewed off by a mountain lion you probably uh is of a lot more importance. A bit of a drift on there. Are you allowed there though to like conceal carry or whatever it is? Carry a, at least like a handgun around so get a mountain lion that's starting, <laughs> starting trouble. For me, I never have any intention or joy from shooting nature. But if I was hunt, if it was hunting, that's fair. Oh, uh, fair is irrelevant. And just yep, uh, I'd do it. And then yeah, if it's something like a mountain lion that's going to eat me, it's getting shot in the face, and I'm not going to lose a hell of a lot of sleep over it. I'd rather it didn't. I'd rather fire a warning shot on it, realize that yeah, <laughs> that will hurt next time. So sod off. But if I had to, I wouldn't uh, wouldn't really hesitate. Miso Trash PC game, it's still a work in progress. It's an yeah, an MMO, that's it. I was gonna say an RPG and I was like, no, not an RPG. I couldn't that's why I ended up saying bloody Oblivion. Yeah, again, I don't oh, fucking hell the back. I don't even know the uh The game, I've just I've heard it mentioned while I've been watching videos on other games. Get back here life. Certainly a hill to get your speed up. Let's see how it handles this corner. Well, uh, not that it's the end of the world, but this Goliath, oh uh, Goliath, the Zix, it. Yeah, turning sometimes doesn't respond as quick. Again, it's not inherently like specifically this mod. It, the, this vehicle doesn't always get a chance to go that fast. But it's just, yeah, like, uh, every now and then, it's uh, when I was aiming for that bridge on Drown Lands or whatever, I, I was holding turn for about three, four seconds before it turned. Yeah. 
Yeah, them dating things, I assume, uh, yeah, it's funny for a robot. Seem pretty temperamental. Yeah, it's been programmed by a woman. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Had to be said. And it was a joke before. Pipe dreaming den couldn't catch the website before it was removed. <laughs> Do you want me to read it to you? Still got. Is there not like. So, say the. Uh, I don't know if it says the website, but you know, like the comments at the side. Can you still see the comment that says love chat blah blah blah? Or has that now been removed? I can still see it on my TV, but because I'm the one doing the live stream off the PS4, I don't know if I can see a different. Yeah. If someone else was looking at it, plus this is through the PS4, it's not on YouTube as I'm looking at it on my TV. Over the last eight years, I've spent over 2k US dollars on Star Citizen. The thing is, if you divide it up over eight years and all the rest of it, it's like one of them. Um, I sort of look at it both ways. Say you've got Grand Theft Auto with the shark cards, I could completely appreciate someone's like, oh, complete waste of money. But then to some people, it's like, if from that you're getting hours and hours of, like, you're having fun and all the rest of it, I wouldn't look at it then as a complete waste. Because it's like, you could just as easily say, going out drinking. You can spend a lot of money going out drinking for one night. It was fun, no regrets, all the rest of it, but the next day, you're not drunk anymore. The money's still gone. You've pissed what you drank back in the toilet, and yeah, but you still have the uh, the memory, or partial in the case of drinking, of a good night and all the rest of it. So it's one of them where, yeah, I could say with was it World of Tanks Blitz, um, I certainly don't think I've spent anything like two grand, but I've undoubtedly I would have thought it's got to be like a few hundred quid. But again, you're talking over eight odd years. And yeah, the amount of hours I've played on that game, for example, not played it for a while and all the rest of it, I sort of, it's one of them, it's a game that never ends, so you sort of play it and then get a little bit bored of it, not play it for a little while. At some point in the future I might jump back on it and and so on. Uh, right, so cover that. Get a goddamn horse. Still see it and then saves message deleted. Yeah, so weird one, like I say, it sort of could depend on who's seeing the live stream through whatever. Like, yeah, I'm looking at it on my TV, that's not anything to do with YouTube at the minute, but I've now got it on my phone because I can just click hide that user. Certainly not Northern Aegis. I'll go on here anyway. I don't know if I've got any missions that are... There might be. But it might be the missions they added, like those super contracts and that. I don't really want to start one of them right now. Uh, Jane Cobb's hat. What is a lower life form? Email spammers or telemarketers? Uh, the telemarketers are probably more annoying because, yeah, they ring and particularly sometimes when I am sleeping in the day, they'll try and ring me when, yeah. So I, I ban and ignore uh, pretty much every number that rings me. If it's not someone I know, I don't really answer it because, yeah. It's funny, like, with phones sort of, uh, say telemarketers, they just assume they can ring you and it's like, yeah, just because I have a phone. <laughs> doesn't mean I'm going to answer it. The email spammers are definitely, uh... Yeah. It's just I don't... I, I'm not on my emails as much, but I know what you mean, like... I'd say the phone call is more inconvenient, but... They're kind of just as bad. Yeah, I don't drink anymore, and my kid is an adult, I can spend money on whatever I want. Yeah, that's what I mean, I wasn't saying it in a bad way, I was just, that's literally sort of, that's the way I see it from both sides. 
Right, you certainly don't want to... Not that I'm saying you would, but you get a game and whack thousands into it when you've only played it for an hour. Hoping that they'll keep updating it, fixing it and whatever. They might get bored of it and abandon it. And But then, yeah, like, say, just as an example, World of Tanks Blitz. It's been going long enough to where I put the money in at a pace where... Yeah, it was good. It enhanced the experience. I've got a few tanks that I didn't or couldn't own otherwise and all the rest of it. And yeah, if you're having fun on that game, it's... Uh, I'm just going to go for a quick jump. Of it. Well, it's got high gear, so you never know. We'll see if it can Jeff special. But yeah, that's the way I look at it. So both ways, like... Same with, yeah, people on GTA with shark cards. Personally, I'm not going to spend my money on that, but yeah. I'm not going to sit here and say it's a waste, because, I, yeah, I could just easily go out drinking and whatever. We're all going to spend our money doing something. It's only a waste if you're doing something you don't enjoy, but you're spending money on it. Other than that, though, yeah, there's not really... It's sort of the sky's the limit. Uh, well, I have to say, for a certainly... Didn't think I'd be uh, able to jump a... Zik 605R that far off the cliff. What have I got that's a rapid mod? Uh, you should see my gun collection. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Although I'm not like any fascination with guns. I could have one, I suppose, but there's just not a lot of use for it over here. Was, yeah, shoot an aggressive bumblebee, and that's about it. Um, but yeah. If I could have a handgun, I think I'd go for like a... Is it the M1911? But I just remember it mainly as a 1911. It's like a very nice, clean... Just nice looking gun. Only I've had it in various games over the years. <laughs> like shooting games. Medal of Honor, that sort of stuff. But I just always liked it as a... A nice looking handgun and all that. Uh... Pretty sure I have got the twice twin steer on, so it should be somewhere. It's probably not a bad one to try. Speaking of drinking, have a great evening, all pipe dreaming. Yeah, cheers, dude. Enjoy yourself. Again, that's the point. <laughs> if you enjoy it, it ain't a waste of money. That's like that's the loophole in the situation. If you're having fun, then go nuts with it. When you die, you're not you're not taking it with you. So you may as well squeeze all the fun you can out of it. So already got a high, it's pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, 63s then on this. Rebel just poured another. Certainly the uh, well, I was going to say the time for it. <laughs> it could be any time. There's never a bad time. No Jeff special. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I can't even... I don't even think I tried, did I? I'll have another go with it, though. I'm here at White Valley, so there's bound to be a bit of and then going on. Corsac 1443, 911, the classic. Yeah, it's just something It's quite... It's a nice-looking gun. But it's quite clean and all the rest of it. But, yeah, like I said, the only... Uh, what I'm going off mainly would be, well, films and, yeah, games. Well, over here, I believe, like, there's... It's one of them where most of us... would just rather avoid the gun debate thing that goes on. Cause it's like, over here, they're not as illegal as people think. But they're just not as needed, or they're not... It's not as embedded in culture that it's just one of them, yeah. If I bought a gun, I'd have to, for the most part, go down to a gun range, shoot at some targets. Which, in, in its and of itself, isn't a bad thing. But there's not really anywhere, unless you got, unless you know someone with a massive farm. It doesn't have to be like a massive farm, but you know what I mean. Unless you know a farmer and you're going to go onto their land and shoot shit, then. There's just not a lot of use for it. It'd just be something I'd like. If I had a 1911, I'd rather sort of frame it on the wall in a man cave type room than than I'd need it. But yeah, uh, shit. I may as well take that crane off. I don't think it'll make any difference. But oh, fuck it. 
couldn't even get rid of it. It's uh, it's only going to add to the weight. It's not really going to improve the situation. Um, of course, I have one myself. Yeah, just sounds like a nice gun. But again, obviously, there's like a Desert Eagle. I wouldn't say no to just out of principle <laughs> and all sorts. But yeah, I I, I watch. Uh, I've not watched it for a little while to be honest, but like Demolition Ranch, that dude on there, he's pretty funny. He uh, goes through a lot of guns and yeah, something cool to watch on YouTube if you know what I mean. If I really wanted one, I could go and get one, but well, I haven't really got the money to spare on something like that. And it's one of them, even if I did, it's just going to sit there for the most part. I mean, even like that night, I got robbed. Unless... I have a gun on me at all times, I still would have answered the door without one, if you know what I mean, because up to that point I'd answered my door 10,000 times, and yeah, so it's, it's sort of one of them where, obviously like, now, well yeah, I just, I just wouldn't answer the door, <laughs> it's as simple as that, I don't even bother answering the door, unless I know who's coming around and whatever. Didn't really have, but well, I didn't really give it enough time to Jeff special it. But did it manage the pogo flip? So in theory, it should front should float. I should be able to start her up and drive to the other side of the island. Let's see. Not in high gear, we won't. Still lets you steer, even though obviously my front tyres are clearly off the uh, floor. I was going to say it gets deeper. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, going this way, hence why normally when I cut over I sort of in the background now I cut over like really far over there but we'll see I might be able to line it up again, I think kind of messing around before I call it a night here in Arizona it's so red you can carry concealed in a bar without a permit and license extra yeah, it, I'd rather that if you know what I mean because there's always going to be bad people in the world regardless like when people, you know they put a gun-free zone sign up. It's like, what the fuck's that going to do? Someone who wants to murder someone isn't going to go, oh, shit, not a gun-free zone. Foiled my plans. It's like, it's never going to happen. So you may as well just let the good people have guns so that inevitably when some prick comes along and tries to ruin it for everyone else, they get shot. It's like that gravestone, I said. I said Here lies John whatever. Never shot a man that didn't need shooting. That's fair. I can already tell that's a good man. And he should have a gun. I mean, yeah, I'm going to recover because, as you can see, I can sit here. It will eventually tiptoe over there, but once I get over the other side, I'm just going to hit recover anyway. Let's go for a bit of a uh, Jeff special. Own a 1911 clone Remington R1. Uh, Enhanced Trudeau hasn't confiscated it yet. Yeah, that's the thing, they're all after him. <laughs> like I said, that's true. I read the, it was like a meme the other week, but it said if they're trying to take your guns now, I know you're saying Canada in that case, not America, but it, in this case, it's like if they're trying to take your guns now after 245 years, they're about to do something you'd shoot them for doing. And it's pretty true. You look like Australia during the COVID lockdowns. There's like a Nazi concentration camp going on over there. They were saying like you can't look at the sunset after 9pm and all sorts of ridiculous stuff. But they took their guns 20, 30 years ago or whatever it was. Probably might be 40 off now or whatever. But... And especially in Australia, like Jesus Christ. Half the countryside's trying to eat them. It's like when they banned smoking in pubs over here. <laughs> they banned it in Ireland first. I bet that took them by surprise. Like, what the fuck? Us? But we're Irish. We live in pubs. What else are we going to do? Uh, I want to try the... This thing got a bit of a nice run. Do you know what? I'll take the roof rack and everything off it just to make it a streamlined zix. Oh, the roof rack was in the... These, weren't it? Roof rack, that one. Might make no difference, but you never know. Yeah, in Canada, like say, a 1911 and a Remington would be 
pretty cool. Like if I live somewhere, yeah, where there's a potential for, again, something more aggressive than a bumblebee, I'd, uh, that's the sort of thing I'd consider myself. And then, yeah, I was like a, you know, Elon Musk rich. I'd have loads of guns just for the sake of it. I'd have a minigun and stuff just because I could, but other than like, yeah, just one of them sort of money no object kind of thing, I'd, uh, yeah, something like that would be pretty cool. Alright, uh, really off this time, catch you next time. No worries, pipe dreaming. Cheers for popping in and saying hello and, uh, yeah, enjoy your evening or whatever, whatever time it is where you are. A bit of a drift on there. And again, that's the problem. Going along here, the road leans off to the right of it, and what it does is make you hit that post. But the crashes can still be uh, pretty enjoyable. I shoot. Yeah. Auto winch. I'm not even going to bother. We're going for another one. But yeah, that's it. if you run down the middle of the runway, you don't hit the ramp bit they put at the end. And they clearly put it at the end as a bit of a ramp. But then one of them had to just be like, no, nope, too much good stuff without no punishment. Let's put an immovable post right where the sweet spot is that you have to, like, just brush past every time. Rebel, and then <laughs> it's definitely happening. I'll have a look in a minute if there is a mission, but while I'm yapping, I may as well uh, get some of this going on. Uh, the way government feels about guns is how they feel about free citizens. Yeah, pretty much, sadly. Like in America, you ban the uh, bump stocks. Now just get rid of the lapping stock. But even the bump stocks, it's like, it's not going to stop anything. Wasn't there a guy the other day that tried to shoot up a mole or whatever? Whatever you, uh, like the term you use for over there. And then he got stopped by a guy with a gun. <laughs> a good guy with a gun. I had a feeling that this might just go over that post, which is pretty nice. Not a bad jump. Where is it as far? Yeah. Not as far as the Roadrunner. Like I said, the Roadrunner is definitely more like here-ish, somewhere around here. But the old cat's back. I'm having another go. Alright. Alright. Uh, still want to pick up a judge too. <laughs> judge, I, I'm trying to think. I could be completely wrong. Is that like a 410 shotgun or something? Or is there like some handgun that's been nicknamed that or something? I could be wrong on the 410 shotgun. It was just, yeah. I don't know. I know a little bit, like I say, I know I like the look of a 1911 because I've had it in games. I know a few names of guns from Call of Duty and stuff, but. And, uh, yeah, I know. Weapons buffing or anything like that. The Endless March of uh, Communism. My family came from Poland. Yeah, that's the thing. It's sad. It's like history just repeats itself because. Yeah, in many cases it is. People are too... they believe the news is one of the main issues. And they're back. It's funny, isn't it? I get the, uh... I get the bot with a grudge. <laughs> Pretty typical. Yeah, like you say, it's, uh, it's sad that it always seems to inevitably head that way. And it always heads that way, because socialism, communism, all that, it's all about, like, total control of the people. So any power-hungry government body is going to want to head that way. That's why, inherently, in theory, like, right-wing, they say it's stuff like Hitler, it's not. It was a national socialist, like, it's, it's socialism. It might be on a national scale, but every government that exists is on a national scale because it's that country but yeah it was socialism total control it's private property but total government control so you might say that's a slight variation on socialism and communism but same thing same total government control is the end result 
in theory, right wing, which I wouldn't even want to call it that, because by today's standards you get branded as like, yeah, on that end, but it's less government everything, it's like, keep your nose out, government, keep the street lights on, make sure my bins get emptied, here's your slice, now fuck off, go and enjoy your mansion, whatever it is you're doing, but don't have to put your nose in every little part of every person's business. But then there's a group of people that's the sort you'll find, not saying everyone on Twitter, but you know what I mean, um, that just are obsessed with, like, whatever the news say. They just take it as fact. But when I was growing up, you sort of get told, like, as if, oh, if the news is saying it, it's got to be true, because if it wasn't, someone would stop them saying it. But then it's like, yeah, look at people like Julian Assange. That's what happens to people who... Yeah try to say otherwise so it's like it's in it's there but people just yeah if the news says it it's got to be true the spot is determined it's certainly a keen one isn't it I don't know if it's like I'll have, I'll have to see if I can just ban them next time I just keep putting like hidden from this channel but I don't know if it's a different bot each time or in fact they're still on here, so what can I do? Give them a report for some porn. I can have that one. What else we got? No, it just says unhide user. But obviously that's... Well, yeah, so it must be some kind of different bot every time. Otherwise it wouldn't offer me to hide it again. It'd say unhide like this one, so I don't know. Again, though, it could be, yeah, bot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Um, right, we'll actually have a look. We've got a little mission I can mess around with before I call it a day. Ah, oh, Pluck the Stuck Truck was pretty cool. Do you know what? I might do Pluck the Stuck Truck, but I might not complete it. Yeah, because there's the derry. I'll start tracking. How do I restart the mission, though? Oh, no. Yeah, that is the derry. Why is it not down there? And again, oh, I'll probably have to find the mission square. I don't really matter. I'll take this. I should imagine this will pull it out, but. Uh, yeah, I'll have to find the pl pluck the stuck truck square and reset it from there. Contracts it lets you reset in the menu, not, not the missions. There might be the square around here. I mean, this is where you got to drop it off, so I might be able to. Oh, you motherfucker. See, I was going to hit square. Well, I did hit square. But I was still touching the bloody enter garage thing, so it did that instead. The merger of government and corporation. Yeah, sadly, they, uh... Yeah. That's <laughs> where all the films hint towards. All the James Bond movers. Well, not all of them, but... Right, now there's not even a square, so I'm going to have to go... It's not, it doesn't really matter. Worst case, I'll just shove the bloody dairy back down the hill. But Again, when it comes to like live stream stuff, this game really isn't live stream friendly. It always has something that you have to fuck around with. Like, it is live stream friendly, assuming you've already got stuff to do. But once, yeah, you get stuff like this, I can't just reset the mission. I'll have to go and drive to where the truck is and probably reset it from that end. That's why I don't watch TV anymore, uh, brainwashing, get your booster. Yeah, it's that sort of stuff. Like I say, booster is people's choices either way, but I know over here they all bought into like the companies that make those masks, and then they made masks, like trying to make everyone wear masks, so, so of course you're going to... Didn't they just ask Nancy Pelosi the other day, has your husband ever benefited from inside trading? She's like, what? no puts the mic down and starts walking off like the most obvious guilty bastard ever. And yeah, her husband's just bought a load of NVIDIA stocks, so don't take that as stock advice from me, because it could be a double blag, they got someone to ask them that, so everyone buys NVIDIA and then they sell and blah blah blah, so but, yeah she's clearly been inside a trade and they all do it's like, who would spend a hundred million a campaign to get a job where you get paid a quarter of a million a year. Like, the maths don't add up. 
and then you look at Pelosi, all of them, they're all worth tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, if not even more. And that ain't from the wages they get paid from doing their job, so clearly there's, yeah, shenanigans going on. Which again, someone like Trump, funny enough, it's like, he made his money in the private sector, he's already a billionaire. It's like, trying to tempt him with a cheeky million under the table isn't going to be... It's not to say every billionaire would be legit, I'm just saying. I, I personally I think Trump just wanted to do something good to be able to go, yep, I did something good. Like, I don't think he was trying to screw everyone out of anything. I think he was sick of the government screwing everyone out of everything. And it would have benefited him, his ego, whatever. Like, it doesn't bother me. If someone wants to run a country well because it benefits their ego, cool, deal, done have the job like that ain't no problem it's when they uh whereas like worse than North Korea and all that in a way well not because he'll be doing the same thing over there but we all get told and we know oh yeah North Korea dictator over here they're just as bad but they have this moral smugness to them as if they're like pro-democracy freedom all this shit and they ain't like it's every bit as North Korea Right, so that's down there, so luckily it didn't really make too much of a difference. But yeah, that's why I don't watch TV and that anymore. Like, I don't either. I watch films and blah blah blah, it's not like I... Yeah, I just... Sort of don't waste your time listening to them, because it's just a bunch of rich people lining their pockets. Only they line it with lies. Like they don't have to sell you a product, they just have to sell you an idea, and they never get held to their promises, blah blah blah, they can run saying they're going to do whatever, it doesn't matter, they're never going to be removed or held to account for it. Like over here, Boris Johnson just left, or whatever, it's like, right, well, how about we lock you up for ten years then for fucking it up, and not doing your job, but they won't. But not, yeah, I thought it was like, yeah, I think... I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother caring. <laughs> I'll get on with my life. Well, yeah, this. I never really doubted it, but it kind of bet this mission for breakfast. I wish there wasn't a post here. Just for the ease of doing, like, a nice sweeping bend, but it is what it is. Um, what are the mods? I'll just quickly reset the mission. Might go and try another mod to try that. In all fairness, uh, fairness, fairness. Uh, Pelosi was drunk. <laughs> That's true. Usually is trying to keep them from fake teeth in her mouth half the time. Which reminds me of like Skeletor or something. Let's say she's been. There's pictures of her hanging around with John F. Kennedy. Jesus Christ, who's her dad? Father Time. And Mother Nature, that's who met to have Pelosi, I think, I'm assuming. So, yeah, term limits. I need some kind of term limit. And again, same over here, same, same shit, different place. <laughs> uh, I could try this Kronos thing, just so I'm curious. It, like, I'll get that sideboard off, actually, but... Bit of daylight again, it? I'm sure it runs out pretty quick. Imagine you're half asleep, feel a great pair of boobs, but probably squish them. Uh, she moans, you open your eyes, and you see Nancy Pelosi. That's true, wouldn't be completely impressed. Probably wouldn't stop squeezing the tits though, either. That's the thing. Gotta accept the nature of the situation. I wouldn't be happy about it, I'd begrudgingly squeeze them, but I probably would squeeze them. That's the thing. But yeah, like I say, she's clearly inside trade and all the rest of it. They're all at it. Or was it George Carlin who said, <laughs> it's like, it's all one big party and you ain't invited. And then my head just goes off to like the Jackass song. There's a party in my pants and you're invited. 
like, fuck it. Just have a good time while you're here, because you never know. The way it's going at the minute, there's going to be some Skynet nuke flying Terminator end into it also. Sod it. Enjoy it while you can. But I'm not sitting here freaking out that that's going to happen, because it's like, it is what it is. Yellowstone could erupt tomorrow. Lightning could strike me. A plane could fall out the sky and kill me. Just, yeah. find a balance. Balance between don't live every day like it's your last and blow every penny you've got <laughs> and save nothing and blah 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 but at the same time, well, it's hard to save anything with the uh, shit going on in the world but yeah, like, at the same time don't completely commit to save for a rainy day that might never get there. But Jane <laughs> just wrote, thanks. I must admit, like, obviously I'm going to joke about Pelosi, but yeah, that's a, uh, that's a solid no from me. Same with Hillary. I'll still say 1990s Hillary for being able to, like, ride a psychopath. A bit like riding a mechanical bull or an actual bull. It'd be an interesting concept. Have you seen uh, anything on the Australian trucking simulator game yet? Uh, I haven't, no. I didn't specifically know there was an Australian trucking sim game, but it doesn't surprise me. I've, uh, not just me, other people I mentioned in this game. Like, it'd be quite cool if they added uh, yeah, some of the big road train stuff you get from uh, Australian trucks. It'd even be nice if they added an Australian phase into this game, which they probably won't because they're generally doing like America and Russia. But if they do a phase... Uh, Snowrunner 2, it'd be quite a cool concept if they had Australia as a, uh, a region, and if it was, yeah, you know, Australian-y, <laughs> and uh, you got like big road trains and all the rest of it. I hope my mind will explode. Sorry, I might have missed a bit of that one. Rebel, you wonder why uh, January the 6th happened because of Pelosi? And the other asshole. Yeah, I, that's one thing where it was a bit of an amateur move from Trump, I would say. It was fucking obvious they were going to do some kind of setup there. But, when I say amateur move, it's like, well, what's the other choice? Don't turn up. So, it was a setup anyway. You've seen the police videos, that's what I mean. It's like, they're letting them in. The big doors that block the Capitol buildings weigh something like £20,000, which we don't really use that measurement over here, but you're talking, what, like, eight tonnes then? So, and their keypad locked from the inside and all the rest of it. Like, people didn't push them open. They were let in. But again, yeah, like, amateur mistake in a way, because that's clearly what they were going to do. And again, that's not just me saying it. There's shitloads of people saying that, like, a week before. Saying, I wouldn't go, because it's going to be a setup. But again, you get people committing crimes, released, bail, all the rest of it. Just, but then the people who got done on that day, sort of locked up without trial and all the rest of it. Much like a, uh, a dictator would. Right, did it. I was trying to take the piss and go around one corner. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot to uh, put the autonomous on. Well, to be fair, can I still reset the mission from here? Yeah. The Navistar was going to make it. It was only because I was just trying to, yeah. What you, what I did last time was just drive straight up, disconnect the winch, and yeah, faff around basically a little bit more. Um, I don't really need to try. I could take the loaf. I think the loaf would get up there, other than I'd just keep digging loaf holes and dragging it up there. Where is that Azov? of? Uh, that probably be... Yeah, so let's take this. Maybe as the last one. That's what she said. Um, I think it's got, yeah, all-wheel drive. It'll be curious, because it's also got a big, fat, wide tyres and all the rest of it, which is good, but because it's a bit of a narrow track, it might work against it as well. So we'll see. It's like, yeah, the mod predecessor to the P16. Uh, I want a Canadian truck sim. True, well, funnily enough, this, I assume, is some kind of Canadian truck, because 
again, it said something like it was the, it was basically one of the predecessors to the P16. Um, yeah, Canadian maps though. Again, that'd be a cool one. I'd say they did Australia and Canada, for example. Uh, Automosity, is it 04? Good day, Mr. Lone Wolf. How's it going, dude? Good to have you uh, joining us. Rebel, AGL, goddamn professional. True. I, in fact, I should have took him, really. Yeah. So she said, I, uh. Yeah. I, I usually. It's only because, obviously, I'm just messing around. I'm not really, uh, like, seriously planning for a mission. Didn't have that. Automatic response of just sticking a loaf, a loaf, <laughs> a loaf somewhere. Look at him go! Oh my goddamn horse! That was me. I was let go of the remote, and I was trying a one-handed rally special, but it didn't go very well. Apparently, there is one in development. Uh, saw a site talking about it yesterday. Showed some garage yard footage from it. Is that then with the Canadian map? I mean, really, it's like... As a concept, it's funny, because I've said it a while ago, but it's like, say, as the progression of games over the years, PS1, PS2, all that, they've always been really desperate to improve graphics. And for me, I've never... Obviously, like, you know, these graphics are great and all the rest of it. But I'm, it's nice to have it, but I'm not... I don't care if this is 4K... Blah blah blah, and some people do. So for people who do, not knocking it. I just personally, from liking like Destruction Derby all that back in the day, I always wanted them to focus on like crash physics and all that. And then now, when you skip ahead, though, you've got a game like this that has deformable terrain, which hasn't really been explored in many other game genres and all the rest of it. And it's clearly a you know a bit of a a hit, a bit of a success. People have played Mud Runner, Snow Runner. It's the game's done better than it's known for, sort of thing. It's like a bit of an unknown, unknown game by comparison to COD and Grand Theft Auto and all that. Uh, yeah, and then you got, as far as crash physics go, Beam NG is taking over, sort of, as far as that goes. And graphics have just got to the point where it's like, well, what, what else can you do? Make it a thousand frames a second, but if I don't notice after, you know, 100 frames a second, then there's no point, and 4K, 8K, etc, etc. Like, this how it is now is fine, I don't ever need better graphics than this. Again, just for me personally, I'd rather they SnowRunner 2 focused on, like, you could crash a truck and take actual damage, not trollish crazy damage like this game does, but actual, like, heading towards Beam NG sort of thing. And again, one day, Beam NG will probably start heading towards, like, a bit of terrain deformation and all sorts. One day, they'll all merge into, like, one, like, Grand Theft Auto, Snow Runner, Beam NG. And that sort of thing will just merge into one kind of giant Grand Theft Auto game with deformable terrain. Great, realistic crashing mechanics and, and you know, 4K HD graphics and all the rest of it. Which would be cool, one day, when it does cold and raining down under. I want summer back for you. can have ours. We don't want summer. <laughs> we, we want you to have your summer back. I think you uh, sent your son over here. And yeah, we want our rain clouds back, goddammit. It's supposed to be a prison over there. The guys are living it up like a holiday. I have to, I have to inform the Queen immediately. Again, I think, like, it's not a bad thing, but I think these mods are going to, yeah, do pretty nicely. I mean, this is all-wheel drive. I believe, I'm sure, at some point I used the P16. It might even be in the video I did. That was me letting off the accelerator there. Um, I mean, yeah. I suppose, yeah, well, it might catch on this lamppost. I was going to say I could just go around this. Or telegraph pole, whatever. With that, delete my suspension. 
plot twist? I don't care. Alright, let's go down the horse. Uh, restart. Let's get a bit of daylight on. Right, we'll have a mess around. I don't. I put it this way: even with a non-modded loaf, I could get this truck up here. Not only is the loaf that much of a goddamn professional, but I am equally as stubborn to do it. But yeah, this with a mod as well. Which I'm curious to see. We'll see right now, live. Like I say, I might end up digging loaf holes, retracting the winch. Where the hell is the bloody winch point? Can I just... Son of a bitch, there we go. Can I turn on the engine? Give myself a little bit of a boost. I mean, look at him go. And for what it's worth, he's packing roof racks. So, see what I can do now. The thing is, again, because it's a mod, like what I would do in a normal loaf, by the way, is I could wedge behind a tree and do it that way. I could go forward, dig a loaf hole, put a winch to it, winch it towards me and all that. But what I was going to say at the minute with this, because I've got the like 75 metre winch on, I could probably sit up here from the top of the hill and if I could be bothered, well, we'll see how the winch point's going. Oh, so, that's weird. Hang on. Oh, is it? Why is it not showing me a million? Oh, there we go. It's just the game being weird. Uh, well, let's... I can't even quite tell if that's... I think that's the back of the truck. So then what I could do now is wedge... Well, whatever, you see what I mean, behind this post, all sorts, so... But again, that's like, I've got them... Uh, I think I put the 75 metre winch on, so yeah, you can see, where does the circle even end? Like, right over there, and that I still could have another 25 metres on top of that. Uh, oh yeah, shit. Oh, the truck, yes. What I would like to do as well, but I can't really be asked. Let's turn the derry round, because when I try and hoover the winch in, Try and pull the opposite way. Just gonna make me wheelie in a minute. Well, see again, I could just wedge it behind a tree, but I actually want to sort of mess around. I don't really want to make it too simple, but I want to see what the... Well, I like it that you can turn the engine on and off on that now, but... Well, normally it'd drive with you, but it's not. And the fact that it's facing backwards sort of doesn't help. But if I scoot over this way a bit. I only don't want to disconnect the winch because it's a pain in the ass finding the winch point again. But fuck it, I'm gonna do it. See wedging behind here. Oh, handbrake, that was my bad. And then, yeah, for the final, like, just say fine. <laughs> I'm doing it this way. That's pretty cool. It's got, like, a winch point in the middle underneath. Ah, oh, but this is the fucking bit where i now got to work out which winch point. Do you know what? I'm not going to, because you can see that. Another thing, though, I could try just out again, out of curiosity. I'll drive in front of it and see what it does when I'm pushing it as well. I 
ready for a panic winch there. I mean, again, I'm not like, even with a normal loaf, I'd get this dairy up to the top. That certainly doesn't worry me. But you can hear me pressing the winch. If it used to do, like, it wouldn't start driving that way, or at least if I had it turned around, it'd, when I floor it, it would floor it that way. And just again, another separate thing. Just want to see what the engine and stuff is saying. I could, I may as well fix it because I've got a uh, goddamn horse. He's got all the stuff. And it's got fuel. I don't think it'll make much difference at the minute because you can see its engine's not even trying to drive. This thing that for the split second when you hit the winch, it thinks about it, but then it stops again. Another option as well with a normal loaf again, and this obviously, but I just mean like, even normally, anyway, it's got middle winch point. Um, if I didn't have to go through 5 million winch points, which isn't this mod's fault, etc., it's a. Uh, it just gives you 5 million winch points, 4.9 of which million of which are uh, pretty useless. Um, yeah, I could winch to a tree at the top and do it this way. Like, there's loads of ways. That's why I like to get yourself a loaf. It's a goddamn professional. I've got about ten different ways I could get the dairy up to the top there. That's why it's like that side of it. doesn't bother me. Like, I know I'd get it done. It's more faffing around with that. Uh, because they've, since they've changed various mechanics, like, there used to be more fun ways of doing it. Clip that tree, but I've got damn horse. You don't care. He's not taking any prisoners. That's what this game inevitably learns. Is like I'm in a loaf. You are going to go to the thing, the place, <laughs> whatever's going on gonna happen. So just let it happen. Stop resisting me game. I paid. Paid me money. Stop breaking mechanics and then not fixing them. Let's see what I can do. I've not even got chain ties on though. Not that it'll make a hell of a difference but it'll probably help. Again it's it just highlight trees that I could actually winch to that are solid and this truck. Like I it's gonna be a lucky dip if I even hit the right winch point. Let alone the winch point could be yet yeah, over there, so I'm gonna have to scroll through two thousand just to get there. But you get the general idea. Uh, I could swing the front around, do you know what actually? I can still see the back of it. That'll do it, just reversing up to it. But at least I can see what I'm putting the winch on. Oh no. It's uh, not too bad, could be worse. Well, what you can do as well, because I'm pressing left to right on the D-pad. When you get to there, if you press down, yes! can scroll through it different ways. There is ways to blag your way around it. Again, is that even the truck though? Is that one the truck? I 
don't even know if I've got the truck. I might be trying to pull an immovable tree. Yeah, I'm assuming I didn't get the truck because it didn't move anywhere. Oh, game. It's just going to winch. Yeah, there's. Alright, up. I can't tell if there's any winch points on it, or if it's the stuff behind it. Is that a winch point? No. Is there any winch points? Or is it all just stuff behind it? That doesn't look like it is. That sort of... Oh, uh, maybe. Let's give it a go. Oh, there you go. At least on it. certainly seems to be more tension on this winch like, that AGL's modded. Because again, that's another separate thing, like... But the, you wouldn't be able to build this much tension these days on a normal stock winch. Uh, the video is on Gaming Wheel if you want to check it out. I apologise, dude, I'm, I've missed sort of the first part of that comment. Rebel, go, go, go. Me so trash. One of these days I should send you a PC. <laughs> True, one of these days I will get, like, round to... Yeah... It's on the to-do list. It's just, yeah, as usual, getting uh, everything else. Life starts jumping back in the way, as it has a tendency to do. And I think we've already established I'm going to... get this truck up here but again it's it's the winch it's the winch points bother me a little bit but on live stream so I've got to make you guys watch me scroll through a thousand bloody winch points every time I'm guessing from the fact that the vehicle didn't move that was not the vehicle Sheer light of s like, sort of uh, line of sight. <laughs> I was going to say light of sign or something. Again, like, say two years ago, this would just keep building tension now. This might do it in a sec. To the point where it's like something is going to move because it is physically retracting the winch and it's like something's got to give. But they, that sort of died off like a while ago. It's not like the last month or two or whatever. It's been like that for quite a while by now. I mean, obviously it's exhaust or whatever is hooked on... I could release the winch, but the physics will lock it in place, so then I have to drive near it to get the physics to move. And then I have to drive back. And then flick through a thousand winch points. And that's why it's like the littlest change has like a big knock on effect. Right. And essentially. Even with the stock loaf, I'll just use the trees to hoik it up there, like... Yeah. I'm gonna say, it, might... it probably would have took longer. It would certainly take longer than the truck. Like I said, he's a goddamn horse, he flips everything. It wouldn't be my first recommendation to rescue a derry up a hill. But if you flip that derry whilst you're rescuing it... Certainly would be my first recommendation because he's a goddamn horse. Winch points. Why? 
Five winch points. Oh yes. God, I'm horse. Uh oh. It's because I move the camera. Oh shit. Don't do. We will get there one day. So I can't quite tell from it, but if I floor it now as well, I don't know cause off the top of my head because it's in reverse, but it obviously isn't going to work with me, certainly not when I'm doing the winch. Whereas, yeah, for anyone who joined post, like, when the game first came out, assuming the vehicle was facing me, I could hoover the winch in at the same time as rev my engine, and then it would also rev its engine and drive towards me, whereas at the minute... It gives you like one or the other. You've either got to pull it in with a winch or floor your accelerator. Even though you could put the handbrake on, floor your accelerator, and you won't move anywhere, but the truck will drive. But yeah, it makes you pick like pick a lane, whereas we used to have both options in one. But yeah, there you go. A lot of faffing around. I'd argue largely due to the winch points. It didn't take all that long for the loaf to, uh, yeah, turn in circle of a house fly as well. Um, what did I do in the end? Mate? I pulled it up a little bit, part, then went in front of it, winched to a tree further up and levered it up the hill that way. And then once I was at the top, I probably spent more time on the bloody finding the winch point than actually hoisting the truck. So, yeah. Goddamn horse, though. Not that it was a rescue per se, but 100% rescue record. Rebel, goddamn professional, exactly. <laughs> Get yourself a loaf, everyone. He's a beast. Are you looking forward to uh, Snow Farmer? Is that is the phase thing going to be on, like, is it all snowy maps? I've not even heard, I don't know. I assume from farming it would be at least some that are, say, more mud than snow. But again, I could be completely wrong, could be full on, yeah, Snow Farmer. <laughs> You said trash less than 20 more subs than you have 10k. Is it? Yeah, it's getting pretty close then. It's pretty crazy. It's a shame at the minute there's not really a hell of a lot going on. Be nice to, uh. Yeah. Be like. The drop in phase 8 or something. But yeah, either way, it still means just as much. I appreciate it to everyone who was, uh. Uh, what is. Uh, yeah, subscribe, I suppose, in that case. I never really. Sort of say it up. It's just because it's, whether you're subscribed or not, the chance that if you watch the videos and you enjoy the videos, then it's sort of like, yeah, I appreciate it. Keep watching them if you enjoy them, but they're probably going to get recommended in your YouTube feed either way anyway. But again, for anyone who has subbed, I appreciate it. But there could be, if, like, I can't remember who it is. There's someone I watch, but I've not subscribed to them because they just happen to upload videos around the time I'm trying to go sleep and it's just one of them notifications that used to pop up on my phone saying so and so has uploaded a video and yeah so I unsubscribed <laughs> but I still watch this so I can't think of who the hell it is for the life of me now but yeah as, a, for, as an example but I still watch their videos so they'll still get the same thing and everything Uh, another reason to have a goddamn professional. It certainly is. The loaf, again. I certainly appreciate that I uh, do have a particular fondness of the goddamn horse. There's no doubt about it. I might as well go for a quick jump <laughs> while I'm yapping. Um, I'll probably about call it a day, though. But yeah, I mean, it is serious, though. Get yourself a loaf. Like, I didn't, I don't know, need a gimmick. I wasn't like, oh, I just, I'll make a character out of a vehicle. It was like, the loaf was just a goddamn professional. And it happened organically over the course of my my snowrunner shenanigans as well. Because even on the first video we appeared in was something along the lines of snowrunner truck darts or whatever it was. Funnily enough, jumping off here where I made a dartboard and the loaf was the bullseye and I painted him green. And then yeah, at some point I jumped a load of vehicles off there. They all landed on their side as a as a joke in the video, I was like, oh, I'll send in the loaf because it's the only thing I've got left. And then he started flipping everything left, right and centre. 
And it was like, Jesus Christ, what a goddamn horse. Get yourself a loaf. And ever since then, he just haven't stopped flipping everything. And that is pretty much the story of the loaf. Like, I tried to... Tried to mock his abilities. And then, yeah. Ever since then, he's been proving me wrong. But now he's proving me right because he's a goddamn professional. <laughs> Get his other loaf. He's converted me. Well, I was going to say, it didn't take much. It did take much. He flipped 15 different trucks when he was an inch off drowning from his super snorkel. And yeah. And I have a random stubbornness for not wanting to recover, unless once I'm done what I'm doing. Believe me, I'm hitting recover, but... I wanted to try and rescue the vehicles I'd drowned. And yeah, I only had the loaf left to send, because he was an ex-dartboard bullseye. Turns out he's a goddamn animal. Next game will be Farm Runner. I get what you mean, but then I'd also say, because they actually have the farming one, I don't know if they'd want to merge two properties into one, because just from a, like, ka dollar signs kind of point of view, they're probably... Again, though, it, it could go either way, because they might also be like, yeah, ka we can just put a load of stuff we've got from Farm Simulator over to Snowrunner, or Snowrunner 2, Mudrunner, whatever it is they're going to call it, and... Uh, yeah, so I, I wouldn't say for a certain no, but I think in the scheme of things, it'd they'd be better off sticking to yeah, snow runner, mud runner kind of thing. Oh yeah, well for the last little thing, I'm gonna jump the goddamn horse off there because I was doing this for bloody ages after I turned the live stream off. <laughs> last week in <laughs> Rebel and then and then this is how it starts. Um <laughs> this is how we get them big streams out. Um Yeah. We'll put it this way, I could end the stream right now, but I can guarantee I'm gonna drive this loaf off the cliff before I get up out of my seat. <laughs> so I may as well uh yeah let you watch the inevitable happen. And I have it on footage. He's a goddamn horse. Jumps off there like a beast. Just, he knows what he's doing. I've flown him around, I've jumped him off a lot of cliffs. He's like self-leveling and all sorts. Because I've got tool suspension, I might land and bounce, but I assume he's got his uh, autonomous on. 12 gears. Gets cooking for a loaf. But you see, this is like, it's just a nice speed. Yeah, curious uh, what the next... On uh, Will Snow Mud, which is what I would want, but curious. Yeah, you never know, like I say, say they did Australia. I'd, I'm not saying I'd want them to go full on, like, sand, but I can see some sandy situations going on, but. See what I mean? Look, he kind of stops tipping. In that case, I'll just do a winch. But he, like, self levels. I'm going for another one. Again, it gets over this. This is like the OG, yeah, at least Super Snow. I'd argue Death Snow. And then, <laughs> just an inch laptop uh, about to die since we're so done anyway. Uh, good night, y'all. I appreciate it, dude. Cheers. For, yeah, I'm pretty much done now. I'm just, you know, you know how it is. I've got a loaf. What can I say? I'm only human. These things happen. But yeah, I appreciate it, guys. I don't blame anyone, it's just like, right, <laughs> at the end of the night, it's the part where he gets a loaf and amends his way to another hour. Like, I un I understand it. <laughs> I'm not, not mocking it, not disagreeing it. I know the situation. It is what it is. Got a goddamn horse. These things happen. And then, no Jeff Special. I don't know if this is Jeff Special. I can give it a quick go, because... It's thinking about it. I've not tried all the gearboxes though. There might be a gearbox I could just special it. Just want to get a nice like. He starts tipping, leveling. He's going to bounce on his suspension. But there you go. See, he should tip onto his roof, but he gets back to his wheels. He's a goddamn horse. Oh, you should, like I'm going to go again and do it now and climb up this. You should have. 
seen the rescue effort that he did last week. I'll put it in some sort of video. I'll just tack it onto the end of the video. It'll be full on, no smooth transi transition. I'll do some kind of video and then just be like, and anyway, <laughs> here's a bit of footage of the loaf. But going up here is an absolute beast. Can't get breakfast for another four and a half hours. Yeah, it's a beast to get the, uh, see if there's any bacon in the fridge. Well, last week, yeah, he was slipping off that way, but, I mean, he's just too much of a beast. He's going to walk it this time. But he started slipping off that way. He was firing winches out. He was climbing up stuff he has no business climbing up. He's just generally a goddamn professional. I mean, there you go. Walks up there like it's nothing. Turning of a housefly. Need about as much run-up as a housefly. See? Goddamn horse. Get yourself a loaf. <laughs> Class dismissed. Hit recover. Job done. Another one in the bag. Uh, two little mice. Guys, which truck should I take to Alaska? I'm playing on hard mode and I didn't sell every single vehicle yet. Uh, hard mode. Which truck should I take to Alaska? Uh, I don't know if you're at the level yet. I would get a Dolphin or the Azov. What the bloody hell is it called? Five something? This, like, not the mod version, but that. Uh, 5319. If you can buy it, I think it's like level 14 it unlocks. If not, um, have you got the Navistar? Or, I know that's DLC. Some people got it as like a pre release thing, but I don't know if uh, you would or not. Miso Trash Moon Runner 2121. <laughs> it's actually be Loaf Runner by then. I'd have taken over. Just be loafs everywhere. Exactly what I'm looking for. So if they announce a game called Loaf Runner, I'm buying it. Don't care if I, if it's watching a blade of grass grow. If I'm sitting in a loaf whilst watching it, I'll uh, sold. Rebel just like a cat. You see, he is. He's got some horse cat thing going on. But he does, like, most trucks, obviously, you jump off, they tip and all the rest of it. For for whatever unknown reason, I don't even know how to code the letter A onto a screen. So, it ain't me doing it. Like, he's just a goddamn horse. Whoever at SnowRunner accidentally coded the best vehicle known to man, then yeah. Someone deserves a raise. But until then... Get himself a loaf. <laughs> Problem solved. Probably gone and got himself a loaf. No mods on hard mode. What, does it not even let you put mods on there? Or are you just saying, like, you know, you sort of, you're not going to use mods on hard mode or whatever? If it does, literally doesn't let you have mods, that's even worse. Yeah, again, I, I can understand why some people want to play hard mode, so I'm not knocking it. Just for me personally, it just doesn't fit very well. <laughs> That's what she said, of course. It's, yeah, it's, like I said before, it's just extra things I'll have to do that I'll have to do behind the scenes to get the footage for the video, how I want it, and all the rest of it. So I just need a little bit of, you know, freedom to change the time of day if I'm getting up. Well, not really mods, but just hack the money. One of the few mods I've done on my original playthrough was got that money mod cheat. Got like a hundred million and then turned them back off. But yeah, just to have the money I can keep buying trucks left, right and centre. I don't have to keep going back and selling them. It was quite handy. But yeah, with Alaska, I don't know, that's what I'd uh, I'd try and get a Dolphin if I could. It's a pretty solid all-round vehicle. Good grip. Really not bad at tipping at all or anything. Um, yeah, like I say, well, almost four hours, not too bad. As usual, get yourself a loaf. Uh, certainly, yeah, AGL loaf, this is a mod version. Very good, like, very well done, all the rest of it. It's uh, still got all the character of a loaf, but it's just got other things. I think it's um, spare tyre on the back has now got, like, a thousand repair points and all that. And it doesn't block the tow bar that it does on the uh, the normal loaf. But he's got four spare tyres in his roof rack, so 
I'd never give a shit to take the spare tyre anyway, but yeah, just it is it's a very good vehicle, definitely worth getting. As for tonight, the that thing, the Grendel, uh, very good, definitely nice, like nice big fat chunky tyres. The high gear I particularly like in it because it lets you get up into the higher revs. That I liked as well, it pulled the derry up. Uh, it, the only thing it didn't have was the high range for whatever reason, but again, I'd certainly use it on plenty of situations where like uh, the high range isn't the most important thing. I don't know where the hell I left that Japanese looking truck. As far as like yeah it's a mad Japanese looking truck that folds out and all the rest of it. It's cool there's nothing as far as the mod goes I'd be solid mod because Z2 makes good mods that from the ones I've used of his before anyway. But yeah it's not trying to be some you know, he's got that Dakar truck as a rally truck. It's trying to be some mad, you know, like a show truck. So that's what it appeared to do. So, yeah. Uh, job done. <laughs> Check out AGL trailer pack as a crane that throws. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, I probably I will. I'll check that out. So I've just automatically by default put um, Fox's trailer pack on, which I've still got on today and also just as a it doesn't use any memory. So before I even go through mods, I'm going to pick today I go through the mods that I just automatically turn on like that's why a lot of Fox's stuff does because it doesn't use any memory but yeah the JBE P16 all that sort of stuff obviously now the AGL loaf is just that's an automatic guarantee that he's going to get turned on <laughs> do you use the cheat item um I've got it I might even have it on right now to be honest in fact just as a quick look what is it in these isn't it in the it's not the bubble heads, it's these. Oh, free, yeah, cheater item. I, I never really remembered to put it on. I suppose I may as well bang one in this loaf because I'm not selling the loaf. Um, well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I have it. I've had it for the last months and all that. I've not really... I sort of forget to use it, to be honest. Cheat item only on goddamn professional. That's true, I might have put one on, like, weeks ago, but again, I, I have used this cheater item before, but generally speaking, in all the live streams, I just forget most of the time. But again, as it's mods, and I've usually got a loaf with me that has repairs and all the rest of it, it yeah, the loaf just has made my need for it. Like, I, I never get to as far as remembering it, but a loaf with a cheater item in, now it's like double goddamn horse of a vehicle, double horse action. Won't Google that. Uh, Rebel by choice. Uh, have a good morning. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Like I say, I'll I'll call it a day. Then I know I keep saying here and there, and then I start rambling on again. <laughs> it is what it is. I will call it a day, though. Uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone popping in. Like I say, I know it's a bit of a dead time for snow at the moment. There's not a whole lot going on, but yeah, I'll. As far as videos go, I'll get some some done. As I said before, it's like the review videos. I may as well wait until I'm got the nice right night for it and I'm in the right mood to mess around and all the rest of it. Otherwise, it's just going to be a generic video and it's a bit meh. And since I'm not in a rush because Phase eight's going to take a little while and blah blah blah, I may as well just yeah, if I can, I can uh, wait a little bit. But yeah, apart from that, like I say, I've, I'll be floating around doing something. I'll try and get a TT video something done with that. I'm either going to try and do a faster lap or I'll edit what I've got. And uh, yeah, other than that, maybe there's another video. I've got some Call of Duty footage, bits and bobs that it's just one of them when I've got to be not in the right mood, but if I don't feel like it's going to benefit you lot, I sort of feel not bad, but you know what I mean? It's like I want to bring something to the table and be like, well, at least even if you don't like my jokes or whatever, at least there's something here that you can objectively take from the video, but if it's just a bit of a nothing video, it's sort of like, I kind of feel bad wasting everyone's time when there's not really a lot going on. Me so trash, good night from the uh, Cascade Mountain. That sounds nice, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, enjoy the rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever's going on. It's pretty much, well, it's cloudy, thank God, but it's technically morning here now. Um, yeah, enjoy whatever it is you guys are up to. Um, thanks for watching, cheers for joining the live stream, and... I'll be back. Yeah, I honestly don't know. I know I've got sh more shit to do <laughs> this week, but yeah, you know what I mean. I don't know myself if it helps. Uh, should use in the village mod map. I'll check it out, dude. I'll have a look at it. Uh, there's a hundred contracts and tasks. Yeah, that sounds pretty good actually. Keep me going for a bit. 
Rebel Love Story Time. Again, I'll have to uh, think some. Once I get rambling off into things, that's when I remember them again. <laughs> Something triggers them. But yeah, I'll, I need to make a note, write some down, and just have a word that reminds me of like, oh yeah, that story. Um, yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Oh, got another one quickly. Uh, sadly, I can't buy uh, Russia trucks in the US. I'll try Navistar. Thank you. No worries, dude. If the Navistar, it's a DLC truck, but if you've got it, I don't know, though. Don't, probably don't just put all your eggs in that basket then just quickly then before I go what would I use as a US truck uh, well the A, a and K is it's yeah it's not as tippy as it used to be if you've got that oh no it's in Alaska shit if you can get that the J, yeah if you don't mind going a bit slow but it's a very, very good truck for you can unlock it at like level two. I'd say the A is of six four one three one. If you can get the Navistar as well, great. I, I use the Navistar, but I'm just it, this is a little bit more jack of all trades truck. The Navistar, you can have a crane, but you can't have a sideboard, and you know you have to get like a ramped flatbed. But if you put a saddle trailer on, you can't have a crane. There's a few limitations. The Azov is probably a little bit more interchangeable and da da da, so I'd probably do that instead. Um, yeah, right, I'm hitting the button. I appreciate it, guys. Enjoy whatever you're up to, and uh, yeah, I'll be back soon.